I need. Uh, could y'all do me a favor and actually take a listen to on stream to see if the music is too loud? Uh, if I did, you'll hear it. So I will not be able to unmute. Uh, I can do it. Thank you. I'm like, JBI, you're my troubleshooter. You take care of everything for me. Yeah, he does. Pretty much. <laughs> I don't do those things. I don't know how. Sound this check. Sounds good. This is a sound check. This is me when I speak the words that come out of my butt. Testing, testing. This is just a test. This is only a test. God. I was fucking with my mind. I still had the stream on mute and I couldn't tell when you guys were talking here, when you were talking on the stream. What you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> hey. So anyways, it sounded good. Alright, good. Alright, well that's good. Alright. Well then we'll see how it goes with uh, metal and all that shit. Alright, so we've got rosters from a year ago that we haven't done anything with, as you can tell here. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of an experience. We don't remember the storylines going into this. So. Sure don't. Oh, uh, Nate Webb is not happy that we ended his feud off camera. And neither is Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just too bad. But Tyson Kidd were... was A-OK -okay with it. <laughs> well, I'm glad I probably have any games a feud where he's losing the Triple H every time. And so is fucking Jojo Offerman. <laughs> Alright. I don't, even, I don't even know if she was losing to Nate Webb, but, uh... She... Uh, I think there was only one match. Well, good. Hold on. I'm holding on to my butt. So welcome, everybody, to the first Deadpool stream of uh, 2016. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome. On January 17th, unless you're on the West Coast. In which case, hey, it actually is the 16th still. Yeah, well, we're not on that coast. None of us. <laughs> To be fair, it's only been the 17th for nine minutes for you. Oh, true. That is for me, it's true. been it for an hour. Oh, God. People's. I Whoa. Guess people did not want to come to uh, watch uh, an L. Or I guess they're done now. I don't know. Oh. Anyway. But hello. Hello, everybody. So we're going to be and booking welcome. some EWR with some shit that we don't remember. Yeah, what's the first show that we're doing? Uh, Raw? Oh, it's Sunday, so it should be Raw then. Yeah, it'll be Raw. So that's a show with everybody's rosters. Not that that really matters. It might, I don't remember. Oh, hello. Hello, people. I'm drinking coffee. I have vanilla Pepsi. It's a very small can, though, unfortunately. JBI, what are vanilla you drinking? Pepsi. I just have normal Mountain Dew. Ew. Normal? Not like the better flavors? Oh, no, I ran out of those. Oh, well, I guess it's better than nothing. It's better yeah. than drinking a butt. I'm pretty sure it's probably almost empty, but oh well. Oh. Well, get more. I have a Coke, which I almost read as cock. <laughs> <laughs> well, you My do have one drink. of those, too. Which, you know, hey, KS, uh, 1996, I don't know if you're a man or a woman, so. Caleb's very much a man. The drink, not anything else. Oh, well, thank you for verifying. <laughs> I, I was, was concerned. concerned for a second. Listen, enjoy this nice piano ballad remix of fucking Final Fantasy VII because I don't want to get taken I off. Hear. Well, you can't because this remix is like from 2004, <laughs> so it sounds like shit. So that means I can't hear it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's how. All right, so works. it's fucking Monday, and we got a book raw. It is. It's true. Uh, do we want to limit official competitors to a roster split? No, we don't. No, not for Mondays. Not for Mondays. Monday's the anything goes, do what you want, book a thing show. Sorry, my girlfriend is being needy. It's fine. Uh, I'd be needy too. I'd be needy if I was your girlfriend as well. Me too. Mm -hmm. I'd also be concerned as to how I became a girl overnight. Well, Justin, you know, deep in your heart, deep in your Kokoro, if it beats hard enough, that's a woman. <laughs> I don't know if I have <laughs> Kokoro. I'm drinking Pepsi. Excuse you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No Kokoro. Pepsi. I went over Damn this. It. Oh, my phone made a vibrate noise. Oh, hey, did you know that 
Deadpool went live? Oh. Oh shit. Hitbox.tv so slash Deadpool? Go Deadpool. <laughs> yes, I show my own stream in my stream. All right. Uh, so, uh, fuck. Uh, who wants to go first? Because fuck doing orders. I don't care. All right, fine. I'll book first. Go ahead. You can be the opener. I'm gonna book a fucking uh, gonna... angle. Tag team match. <laughs> Tag team match. Play play. <laughs> uh, it'll be an authority angle. And it will be an authority. I'm will tell you that my hands are cold because they are. You know what? Uh, what era are we in? We're in modern-ish day, so 2014 technically. Late 2014 is where we are, but I mean, it's technically 2015. <laughs> I think this is the August 2014 save or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Although Voices 201 does have the correct answer. It actually is. We are in 2007. At least our booking sensibilities will be. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what is the one that I'm trying to find? There we go. I don't know. Authority I don't is going to book a 1v1 suspension tonight. Whoa. And our authority figure will be none other than, of course, the legendary authority figure. Taz. <laughs> of course. And Taz will be booking Ahmed Johnson to possibly be suspended tonight. And tonight, <laughs> oh. he is going to have to face a fellow member of Justin's thing. This isn't fair. Bo Dallas? Do you have Bo Dallas? Um, I don't think I do have Bo... Uh, no, I don't have Bo Dallas. Damn. Brad Maddox. <laughs> I do have Brad Maddox. Brad Maddox. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? If Ahmed Johnson could not defeat the general manager of Saturday Morning Slam... Saturday Morning Slam's gonna get cancelled! Saturday Morning Slam will be cancelled and Ahmed Johnson will be fired. Or suspended. <laughs> suspended. Oh no. Above the ring for a Money in the Bank contract match. <laughs> I don't know if we can put him above the ring. That might be considered a little racist. Not by his neck. It doesn't matter where we buy what, his leg? <laughs> yep, just hang it upside down. We're gonna just dangle him by his leg. And the only That's... person that can save him is Gold Dust. <laughs> well, I don't think he's gonna want that. Anyway, so who wants to book next? Uh, I'll book next. Alright. You know what? I'm going to book a. Uh... Oh hey, I can actually do it this way. I can actually limit it to rosters uh, booking in a match, so that'll actually make things easier. Oh, can you? Yeah, so what roster do you want to book for? I want to book for your roster. Oh shit. Obviously. Alright. So I'm going to have a authority angle. God damn it. Authority announces one versus one fire tonight. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh yes, indeed. Alright. Wait a minute, I had my authority and my authority figure book something for your show. I just noticed there's a flaw here. <laughs> there's a bit of a flaw there, but we'll let it slide. Um, alright, so 1v1 fired tonight? Yes. Alright. So, first off, who's the authority figure? And let me tell you what your choices are. Brock Lesnar, John Laurinaitis, or Taz? Brock Lesnar, of Oh, course. no! Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Who could possibly be fired tonight? Well... I have Bo Dallas, what the fuck? You do, but one of the people who has the potential to be fired tonight is Colt Cabana! Oh no! <laughs> one of your favorites! No, I don't like this. Oh, I know you don't. You absolutely hate this. Wait, what the fuck? Why isn't Colt Cabana a choice? Oh, because he's, he's a champion! Oh. You can't fire a champion. Okay, well then it won't be Colt Cabana, but it will be Cesaro. Oh, fuck you! Bastard. Deadpool show. Star <laughs> Brock Lesnar. Damn. It's Pooper Stars. It's Pooper Stars. It's not the Deadpool show. <laughs> Might as well just be called that. Well, I mean that. Yeah. All right. And who will Antonio Cesaro have to face? In order to not be fired. In order to not he's be gonna, fired. He's gonna have to take one in a one-on-one -on -one match, of course. Mark Henry. Oh no. <laughs> Who can defeat Mark Henry? Have you seen the size of that man? God damn it, you're making me choose between two of my favorites. He's so big. So big. No 
someone could beat a big man like that. All right, JBI. So we have two possible uh, bad things happening to Ahmed Johnson or Cesaro. So it is now your turn to pick or er, book. Alrighty. Uh, I guess the, to kick things off with an actual match. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. My works. show. Okay. And? It's gonna be an Iron Man match. For fuck's oh, sake! What? what? <laughs> All of your fucking gimmicks. I should have known. All right. Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens. Ah, oh, gotta keep that one feud that we have going. <laughs> Excuse you, I have two. I'm sorry. One of your two feuds going. One of the t one of the three feuds we have in the whole company. <laughs> I need to know why is there why an Iron Man match between these two? Why what not? is the what, Oh, I, so there's no build-up, no story? Well, they've been feuding. Uh, yep, yeah, what's the story behind the feud, please? Uh, rematch clause? <laughs> <laughs> rematch clause from a show that we didn't watch. <laughs> exactly. Alright. I, I mean, I can't say that you're not right, because I don't remember. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, so what do you... Do you want the title to be on the line? The Electrovision Championship? Yes. Spinny WWE Electrovision Championship, that illustrious championship that everyone forgot about, will be on the line. But who will be the winner? The winner, spoiler alert, will be Dolph Ziggler. Oh, shit. Whoa. And uh, what would be the finish? Ah, shit. Uh, you know what? He'll win cleanly. Oh, shit. And what will the aftermath be? Uh, uh, Kevin Owens attacks Dolph Ziggler. Okay. Uh, so Kevin Owens revenge attack. I'm assuming. Indeed. Okay. All righty then. And the purpose of all this? Uh, to continue the feud. Alrighty then. So it is now my turn to book, and I am going to book for my own show. A one-on-one -on -one contest between Mark Henry and Antonio Cesaro. Completely un... Uh, completely independent of anything that has happened tonight. <laughs> There's no reason oh, I am... No other reason I am booking this match. <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, the winner, of course, will be Antonio Cesaro. <laughs> Oh, poor Mark Henry. But there will be a run-in for Marcus Corvon, who fucked up. <laughs> oh no! Causing dissension in Mark E. Mark. Well, this is just depressing and in, now. And then in the aftermath, there will be a two-on-one attack on Antonio Cesaro. I'm okay with that. The purpose of this, of course, to debut Marcus Corvon. Oh, he hadn't debuted yet. All right. That's good to know. Totally not have Mar Antonio Cesaro safe from being fired. No, of course not. <clears throat> Alright, Justin, it's your turn to book. Alright, I want a, an angle. A diva's angle. Uh, well, what show are you booking for? Well, my own. Okay. I should have verified that, but... Yeah, let's, let's start off with what show you're booking for first. Alright. Do you want a diva's angle? I do want a diva's angle. I want... Uh, when Diva flirts with a guy. Oh, shit. Who could our <laughs> participants be? Oh, well, I think you might know. That Hornicky of Bella? Of course the Diva's that Hornicky Bella. And Big Daddy Rikishi? <laughs> That's... No. The man is gonna be... The man with the five pounds of cock meat. Sexy Eddie! Oh, god damn it. <laughs> We're actually doing this. Alright. She heard that he got signed. And she heard... About all that cockpit that he has been carrying around lately. And by lately, I mean his whole life. Alright. <laughs> JBI, would you like to book, book something? Sure. I'll Whatever. book an ankle. Uh, what show? Uh, you know what? I'll do your show. Alright, my show. We're booking an angle. What kind of angle? Other angle. Ooh. And it's gonna be an arriving. Oh no, who could be oh, arriving? No. It's gonna be Terry Funk. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Terry Funk is here! 
<laughs> and you know what? Terry Funk is gonna have a match. Oh shit. But not just any match. A fucking Texas Death Match. Jesus! But who shall Terry Funk be facing? Ah, uh, hello, Who's Game. Hello. Could y'all do me a favor and add Who's Game to the call? See if he wants to book. If he wants to book. Uh... Terry Funk will be facing in a Texas Death Match. The most Texan man of all time. Uh... The biggest Tekisasu wrestler of all time, Jervis Cottonbelly. Oh, of course! Oh, God, Jervis is a... Jervis is a big Texan. And you know what? I don't. The the WWE Aerotech Temp Agency Television Championship will be on the line. The, of, of course. Who will be employee of the month? Will it be Jervis Cottonbelly or Terry Funk? You tell me. You're booking. Jervis Cottonbelly's gonna get the upset victory. Oh, it, Terry Funk's giving him the rub. Terry Funk's giving him the rub, even though he's saying, "God damn it." <laughs> <laughs> don't do it! Yeah, I think Jervis Condell is saying, Don't rub me! Just because I have a fuzzy belly! Don't do it! Don't rub my fuzzy tummy! <laughs> Jervis Cottonbelly, of course, is gonna win cleanly. Well, of course, it's Jervis Condell! He would never cheat! <laughs> sure enough, we're gonna read in the write up. <laughs> that he used a fucking chair and a nail bat. <laughs> and of course, handshake! Of course! Because Terry Funk is going to give him the fucking rub. So why wouldn't he? Because of course, the purpose of this is to debut Jervis Cottonbelly in a Texas Death Match. <laughs> and what, Wait. what better way to debut? You heard Wait. me! If he's giving him the rub, wouldn't it be a hand job, not a handshake? Oh, you're right. My apologies. Hey, this is Jervis we're talking about. It's a handshake. They didn't necessarily say what kind. What Jervis he would not agree to that. Jervis is a gentleman! Shake. Well, he didn't. No. Well, but both ways you are shaking your hand. Well, that's true. But exactly. I don't think Jervis would agree to that. I don't think he has to agree to it. Well, I think that it's is. It's a forced. I think it. That, <laughs> I think you're wrong on this. <laughs> Jervis is a gentleman, and I. Betty in the chat. He would never. Oh. I so agree. Weird. Betty is right. Alright, so, uh, who's- we're gonna have you book the main event. Uh, okay. If you want. <laughs> uh, that, that, um, actually, can I book next show so I can see who we- but, so that way by the time y'all are finished booking, we can see who we have. Okay, okay. That's fine. Because I, I don't want to sit here for the next 10-15 minutes for you slowly scrolling through the roster of who we have and me going, Oh, shit, um, no. Okay. It'd be a whole lot easier doing it this way. No, no that problem. is true. Alright, is it my turn to book? Uh, yes, it would in fact be your turn to book. All what right, well, show do you want to book for? Show. Okay, Justin. I'm going to book a match, too. Could it possibly be that Ahmed Johnson match that we were promised? <laughs> it, it would be that Ahmed Johnson match, in fact. What kind of match do you want it to be? Uh, well, it's got to be a one-on-one -on -one normal match. Okay. No, no stipulation was announced, so you can't. You, can, oh, you, you can't go crazy. You are so correct. Brad Maddox, who apparently I am not allowed to fucking book. <laughs> the fuck? Why can't you book Brad Maddox? Okay, it told me I could book Brad Maddox, and now it says I can't book Brad Maddox. Well, what we were promised fuck? this match. All right, well, who is Brad Maddox's chosen <laughs> representative? Your mother. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that would technically be up to you, because you booked that earlier segment. Oh, you're true. So I'll... Correct. Fuck! True. I Thank you. doing that! You're very true. Uh, well, of course, uh, he would only pick his best friend ever, uh, uh, Vampiro. Oh, of course. Because... <laughs> Why are we we're having Ahmed Johnson versus Vampiro? <laughs> And if Ahmed Johnson loses, he gets suspended above the ring in a ladder match! Uh... I don't know if I want that. Yeah. Uh, no title on the line, I'm assuming? Well, what title could possibly be on the line? There's no champions in this match! Well, I don't know. Well, you do know. Alright, uh, and then who... Who... 
Woohoo! Is winning. Well, you know, it, it's... It, it's gotta be... It, it's gotta be Vampiro! Oh shit, Vamp! Drive made a good choice! Oh my god. Oh... Wait... What? Vampiro has caused Ahmed Johnson to become... Fucking suspended. <laughs> oh the god. Ring. So what is our finish? Uh... I think it's gonna be a clean finish, of course. Oh my god. And what is the aftermath? Um... Ahmed Johnson is, runs away? <laughs> is there an aftermath where Ahmed Johnson just goes completely insane? Uh, yes, there is. I Ahmed Johnson throws a temper tantrum. Yes, that's the one we want. Alright. Purpose? <laughs> uh. Debut Ahmed Johnson or debut Vampiro? Put Vampiro over, put Ahmed Johnson over. Put a good match or build up to a future match. Well, it, it's got to be the build up to a future match because there's going to be a ladder match where Ahmed Johnson is hung above the ring eventually. Oh, you're right. You're, you're... So it's building up to that. You're so correct. I know. Alright, JBI, how do you follow that? I don't think you do. Uh, also, Sec, would you like to join the call? Alright, this is gonna be... Four? I'm looking for my show. Okay. It's gonna be a tag team match. Playa Playa. Taking my gimmick! Fuck you, man. Oh. It's gonna be... A tables tag team match. Oh, of course. And it's gonna be the debuting teams. Oh shit! Of debuting teams of Outlaws Incorporated, Homicide, and Eddie Kingston. Okay. How boring. Indeed. And. And the newer Los Matadores, El Torito and Pentagon Jr. Oh, of course. Uh, do you want the tag team title to be on the line, even though it has no reason to be? Uh, no, we can't give the audience everything. Okay. Yeah, fuck the audience. Who is winning? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to say the newer most bad doors. Oh shit, but who is winning? Oh, uh, Pentagon Jr. Thank you, over. Eddie Kingston. See, Justin, you should be happy about that. Should I? I guess. I mean, I am. Uh, what is? I'm so happy. What's the finish? Uh, pinfall. Is there a, is there a finish where Pentagon Junior can beat the shit out of both of them? Uh, I guess cleanly would be the closest you'd get to that. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, cleanly. Doobie 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 doo. And in the aftermath. Uh, I don't know. What's the closest I could get to Pentagon Jr. beating the shit out of both of them? Uh, outlaw, exactly that. outlaw Inc. getting beaten down. Sure. There we go. Yeah, so exactly what you want. Yep. I like to think Pentagon Jr. beats them with El Torito. <laughs> just uses them like a chair. <laughs> exactly. Just grabs by his legs. Just bam, bam. That sounds the most accurate, really. Alright, and what was the purpose of this? Uh, to... Oh, I, I suppose I can't have it to debut both teams, can I? Well, you can say debut Pentagon Jr. and debut Outlaw Inc. Yeah. No, I mean, like, individually. Oh, between the two, then Pentagon Jr. Cause All right. <laughs> He's going to be your star. He's got to be the star. Also, could somebody add suck to the call? Uh, who yeah. is this? On it. Nope, well, JBI's got it. Who is who? Who is this little kid who has five sides? Oh, it's Pentagon Jr. Uh, all right. Hold on. Do 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 do. One second. So it was my turn to look. And what better way to end the night for? me, then to go ahead and have an angle. Of course. Ah, angle. A very sexy diva angle. Oh. <laughs> Those are some of my least favorite kind of angles. Sexy. Like and so, sexy, sexy diva <laughs> angle, is that curtain drag? We are going to see yes. 
a diva hit on a guy. Oh. Oh! We've already seen that tonight. We are going to see the diva, our secrets, my secret signing, Emma. Oh no. Hit oh, on no. the young child. Oh no. Of the don't Marie dynasty. No, don't do this. Eric oh, Marie. No. no. He's oh, too no. young. He doesn't he handle understand. it. Eric oh, Marie God. will he learn is... love. He doesn't understand these things. He's too young. He hasn't even grown his penis in yet. No. It's not <laughs> right. It's puberty. It's too late. Randy hasn't even given him the talk yet. <laughs> no. Uh, so now it is time for us to book the main event. And uh, Justin, since you're, it's your turn. It is my turn. <laughs> but I don't know if I can. I'm too upset. <laughs> oh, so where's the E in Marie? It How got cut off. Did it? Okay. Do we have four matches? Uh, oh, you know what? That's a good question. I think we do. Uh, we what? have one, two, yeah, three, four, five. Yeah, we have five. So you can do it. You can end it in an angle if you like. All right. Well, I will end it with an angle, of course. Who show? Well, mine. Okay. I gotta, I gotta set up for that uh, that ladder match oh. next week with Ahmed Johnson hanging above the ring. So what kind of? What kind so of match? One on, it's going to be, a, of course, an angle. It's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one, uh, oh, I'm sorry, an angle? Yes. Sorry. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one angle. Okay. It's going to be running with ladder. Oh, shit. Oh, snap. <laughs> running on who? What match? <laughs> well, of course, the victim is going to be... Hold on one second. Holding on one second. This fucking belt is cutting into my fucking... <laughs> Intestines. That sounds like it hurts. So I'm taking it the fuck off. <laughs> Woo! Take it off! Woo! I haven't even finished one no, show. No, no, no. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear anything sexy while I'm looking at JVI's picture. Just, <laughs> just, just excuse me for a second. Just stripping for the stream. There we go. Stone cold giving me those eyes. They're like. Mm. Well, now I must change it because now people will know. So who is so who is being victimized? Well, of course it's going to be Wolfie D. Oh no, he's oh, in no. the ring, you know, saying how the nation finally took out Ahmed Johnson after all these years. Oh no, but who's the attacker? <laughs> but then, little does he know, little does he know, Ahmed Johnson is going to come out and attack him with a ladder. Oh my God! Saying that he's going to be competing for Ahmed Johnson next week. So wait, because Ahmed Johnson is fighting for his own freedom while he's also hanging above the ring. Well, <laughs> no, Ahmed Johnson's hanging above the ring and he's going to pick someone to fight for him next week. Oh, life. just like Brad Maddox chose fucking, uh, uh, Vampiro. Yes, just like that. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> Except you won't really be able to understand what Ahmed sense because he's going to cut a promo and, you know, how that goes. No one's going to understand, so they're just going to yeah. pick his close personal friend, Goldust. Uh, unfortunately, there's a problem with that. If it's None on Raw. Dust. No, JBI has gold dust. Okay, well. Yeah, I know. There's still a problem with that. Yeah, yeah. And start the show. <laughs> start the shoe. So, rated at 82%. The fans really wanted to watch a fucking segment of Taz backstage announcing that tonight we will see Ahmed Johnson and Brad Maddox fight one on one. And. Why wouldn't they? And Taz gained two points of overness <laughs> from announcing a match that didn't actually happen. It came close. And then in the next match, Brock Lesnar lost two points of overness <laughs> from announcing that Antonio Cesaro will face Mark Henry, and if Fenzaro lo Cesaro loses, he will be fired. I love Fenzaro. Shut up. <laughs> so then in our next match... Oh my. Here oh we my. go. Uh, 81 overall overall with 80% crowd reaction and 82 match quality. Good job, JBI. For the Dolph Ziggler Kevin Owens uh, Iron Man match. For the Spinny Electrovision Championship. So, first fall, 
do 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 Um Okay, so Owen's got the second fall. Uh Ziggler got the first fall. Third fall. With the Ziggler, Ziggler using gets a the rude awakening. Fall. As he does. Yeah, Ziggler won the third fall. So with a score of one to two. All right, so we got a three star for that. All right. <clears throat> Antonio Cesaro versus Marco. Oh God. Uh, fifty-seven percent with a forty-nine percent crowd reaction and sixty-six percent match quality. Thanks, Justin. Oh, you're welcome. Three fourths of a star. Cesaro won. Backstage, sexy Eddie is backstage when that whore Nikki Bella walks over. She flirts with him, then leaves, smiling. Oh! She wanted to know about that five pounds of cockmeat that he's got. 64%. <laughs> Sexy Eddie did gain one point of overness. Damn right he did. Terry Funk is seen arriving backstage. 80%. <laughs> and then we follow that up with, well... Um... Alright, a little bit better than I thought. Jervis Cottonbelly versus Terry Funk. This will be a Texas death mat bout. <laughs> Jervis is making his debut in this show. This match is for the WWE Aerotech Tep Agency Television Championship. 53% overall rating, with a 42% crowd reaction and 64 match quality. Uh, Terry Funk lost a point of overness, but he gave the rub to Cottonbelly, who gained two points of overness. That's all that matters. But unfortunately, the WWE Aerotech Tep Agency Television Championship has lost an image. That's fine. Wow. Oh. Half a star. Well, I disagree. Ahmed Johnson versus Vampiro. Oh, this one's probably got like five stars, 100% overall rating. 60%. Oh, hey. Fif better than 59 yeah, <laughs> crowd reaction with a 62 match quality. So I think actually about the same as uh, Cotton Belly and uh, Funk as Slightly. far as match quality is concerned. Yeah, the match quality was down 2% for my match. Uh, uh, half a star. <laughs> Well, uh, Ahmed Johnson yeah. loses. That's true. Outlaw Inc. versus the newer Los Matadores. This will be a table bout. Homicide is making his debut at this match. Kingston is making his debut at this match. Pentagon Jr. is making his debut in this match. Al Torito and Pentagon are teaming up as the newer Los Matadores for the first time tonight. Oh, good. 67% uh, overall with a 58 crowd reaction and a 76% match quality. Uh, this is, uh, three-fourths I'm sorry, a dollar... Dollar seventy-five. Uh, star and three-fourths. Newer, newer Los Matadores win in their debut. Beating the fuck out of the outlaw, I think. Sounds good to me. Eric Murray is backstage when Emma walks over. No! She flirts with no. him, then Turn leaves, it off! smiling. The fans She's were confused the by the gimmick change of Eric Murray so soon That's after his wrong. last one. Quick, change the channel! 62%. No! At least it wasn't 69%. Hey. I was legitimately expecting that. That, would have, that, that should have been the win. Sexy Yeti, uh, <laughs> Nikki Bello rating. It should have been. I like how the fans were confused. How am I am flirting with Eric Marie, but with the gimmick change of Eric Marie? Didn't you yeah, used to be a dirty, dirty communist? <laughs> Wolfie D is in the ring, and he has set up a ladder as part of his demonstration of what he is going to do to his upcoming ladder match. Uh, Ahmed Johnson comes out of the crowd and attacks, and uses the ladder to brutally beat Wolfie D down. Wolfie oh, D, uh, in a 50% overall rated segment, Wolfie D gained two points of overness. Wolfie D was so happy that the nation finally got to Ahmed. But... Overall rating for the night is 65. Highest rated segment was Taz announcing Ahmed Johnson versus Brad Maddox. Of course. And then the match that didn't happen. And then the lowest rated segment was Wolfie D being beaten up by Ahmed Johnson. Yeah, well, Wolfie D is going to be starting his own nation of domination here soon. <laughs> it well. started off with the best segment and then ended with the worst. <laughs> well, you know. Sounds about right. Sounds like a raw to me. <laughs> That's rude. We got a 7.0. That is the highest rating we have ever gotten. That's really good. 
Wow. You can thank Wolfie D for that. <laughs> so Pat Patterson says that we are pushing Kevin Owens too much. Uh, Jervis Cottonbelly is losing heat because he's pushed too much. Abed Johnson is losing heat because he's being pushed too much. Damian Mizdow. Ryan would be a great opponent for me. How about putting us together in some matches? Austin Aries. How about booking me against Taka Michinoku? I'm sure we could do some pretty entertaining stuff that the fans would like. Alright. So it is Tuesday, so that means it's time for Pooper Stars, I believe. <laughs> it might be time for Pooper Stars. It is, in fact, time for Pooper Stars. You're going to be pooping on all the stars. So, the roster is set to the Poo roster, which of means course. it's all my guys. And, um, uh, why don't we go ahead and start off with Who's? Okay, um... Would you like me to scroll through who is on this roster? Yeah, that might help. Okay. So, we got Adrian Neville, AJ Lee, Antonio Cesaro, Austin Aries, Bailey, Beef Wellington, Big E Langston, Bo Dallas, Bray Wyatt, Brian Kendrick, Colin Cassidy, David Otunga, Drake Younger, Enzo Amore, Fondango, Finn Balor, <clears throat> Hardcore Holly, Hideo Itami, Jervis Cottonbelly, John Cena, Jushin Liger, Kofi Kingston, Connor, La Sombra, uh, Luke Harper, Marcus Corvon, Mark Henry, Paul Heyman, Primo, uh, Rob Van Dam, <coughs> excuse me, Rusev, Ryback, Samoa Joe, Sarah Del Rey, Sasha Banks, Scotty Tuati, Sheamus, Sin Cara, Takamichinoku, Terry Funk, oh, shit. Titus O'Neil, TJ P Perkins, I saw the message, Tyson Kidd, Victor, Vladimir Kozlov, Xavier Woods, and Zack Sabre Jr. Well, here comes uh, the raid. I'm waiting. Okay, um... Who is your, uh... <laughs> who is your mid-card <laughs> champion? Um, my mid-card champion would arguably be Jervis at the moment. Hold on. Uh, okay, so my champions... Right, so... My mid-card championship would be my Aerotech... Uh, television champion, which is Jervis. Okay. Hello, everybody! How y'all doing? Thank you for the rated you sexy people over at New Legacy Inc. I love you. Holy crap. Yep. That is a lot of people. That's a that lot more a lot people, of people than I'm used to. Took them from 8 to 450. <laughs> 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 Fucking Christ! <laughs> it's quite the jump right there. That's the jump. Well, thank you! Hello, everybody! <laughs> Hello. Um, um, the Doritos Locos Duos Championship is currently vacant. Our WWE Starbucks Low Fat Latte Champion is Primo, and the <laughs> NWA Nutella World Heavyweight Championship is currently vacant as well. All right. Um, I, I opted do... for sponsorships with my belts. Uh, let's do a match with Primo. It'll be a non-title match. Uh, Primo. All right. Yeah. So, just a regular one-on-one -on -one match? Yeah, because it's basically going to be... A, I want it to be a squash match. I want it to be the champion versus just some uh, new guy, and the champ just squashes him. All right. Basically and to put Primo over. Interesting. Interesting choice. So, who... I don't think Primo squash. Put Primo over before. <laughs> so, who will Primo squash? Um... You pick who I'm afraid you're gonna pick. I might kick you out. <laughs> so you pick anyone. I'm gonna huh. be angry. That new upstart, hardcore Holly. Ah oh, damn. <laughs> How did I know? You know what? I'm actually okay with this. Perfect. All right, Primo is gonna beat the shit out of fucking hardcore Holly in a non-title match. Obviously. Yes. Uh, Primo wins. I'm of course. I'm assuming clean. Yes, he's going to go over clean. Uh, and then in the aftermatch, just beat the shit out of Hardcore Holly? Yes. Alright. Feel um, burn! Da, 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 da. Primo does beat down, there we go. All right. <clears throat> Same as the last <laughs> EWR Deadpool stream. Cool. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it doesn't really change too much. Not really. Except my quality hopefully changed. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, so, the purpose of this match is to put Primo over? Yes? Yes. Alright. <laughs> Primo the fucking asshole. <laughs> Primo heal. Alright, uh... Who wants to book next? Uh... I'll Me. book next. Oh, oh sec? Go. Sec? Okay. Sec, what would you like to book? <laughs> As I had an idea. Um, Damien Sandow sent us an email saying that he wanted to work with someone. Uh, I think he said Rhino. I don't have Damien Sandow or he Rhino on this Rhino. roster. Oh, really? Wait, He's on the other I show. I swear to God, that's what it said. Oh, well. That is what it said, not, but it's for a different show. Uh, okay. Um, because we have set we rosters. We need to for fill that show. NWA Nutella title. Oh I think. shit. Well, how would you like to fill it? Yeah. Uh. A six-man over-the-top rope battle royal. What uh, better way? Well, I hate to tell you this, but we can't do six, but how about ten? Oh, ten! Ten's even, even better! better. You can get more people in there! Alright, who would you like yeah. to be in this battle royal? Uh, let's have one for every vowel. Okay. Oh. So an A, an E, an I, an O, a U, and maybe a Y. Alright, so let's start at A. Where we have Adrian yes. Neville, AJ Lee, Antonio Cesaro, and Austin Aries. I think that we got to put AJ Lee in this. All right. Good choice. Then we move on to E, where look, the only choice is Enzo Amore. Look, it's late. It's, la it's late at night. I'm high off of Sudafed, not intentionally. The only E we it's have high. is Enzo Amore. Okay, Enzo, obviously. E e I. Um. We have... If you don't have an I, just go the next letter down. Okay, so the next letter down would in fact be our Aerotech champion, which is Jervis Cottonbelly. Okay, one more down. Oh, John Cena? Sure. Alright. Like we're booking the fucking money match, like, in the middle of the show. This is money? Sure. I mean, it's for the championship. For our highest paid sponsor, Nutella. For our most prestigious championship, the NWA Nutella Heavyweight Championship. As I lose breath. That it. <laughs> I guess that's true, yeah. You uh, know, I actually do not like Nutella. It's, I, I just don't. It's too sweet for me. It well, hurts my teeth. It's nice to know that they are totally giving us money right now. Uh, so next is... I mean, I, I can say that there's nothing bad about it. It is, a, it is a good thing. It just hurts my teeth. So next would be O, but we don't have anybody for O, so your choices for P are Paul Heyman or Prebo. Oh, well, obviously it's going to be Paul Heyman. All right. <laughs> and then A-E-I-O-U. Uh, we don't have any U's either, but you could put in for V, Victor or Vladimir Kozlov. I think we got to put Victor in there. Oh, shit. And then... Uh, and I see Beef Wellington. Beef Wellington has to be in there somewhere. All right, Beef of Wellington. Course. He is he is big and beefy. He's not very big, but he is beefy. Um, yeah, I, I love I love I love beef. This stream does not stay stable for long. I have no problems with stable. it. Stream's been stable for me since yeah, I got here. It must be something in. on your end because it's working fine for Stream's me. Stream not stable. Get better internet. <laughs> it's doing better for me. It's doing good for me. All right, so you have four more people that you need to put in. Do you just want everybody right, else uh, to put in one person? I think Tara and Taka should be in there. All right, you want Taka and who? Sin Cara. Sin Cara. And then finally... Understand that you're putting the original Sin Cara in there. Yes, exactly my point. Okay, just making sure. All right, and then uh, last but not least, uh, I think that we need Marcus Corvon. After he fucked up everything for Mark Henry? Yeah. He could have gotten rid of fucking uh, Antonio Cesaro, but then he fucked up. <laughs> well, he's gonna fuck up here too. All right. Don't worry. About oh it. no. So then, who is the last man? <laughs> the last man. Uh, well, obviously, it's gotta be that young upstart, Paul Burchill. <laughs> I, I don't have Paul Burchill. I swear to God, I saw Paul Burchill. Okay. Paul get, Heyman. Uh, oh well, my eyes are really bad. Um. Uh, I think uh, we got to put Austin Aries in there, just because. All right. I don't know. I want an excuse for Who there did to Austin be a Aries say he wants to Taka. Okay, so we're technically giving Austin Aries his Taka match. 
All right. <laughs> I cannot give them all the titles. That's a good point, actually. So this is for the NWA Nutella... NWA Nintendo World... N Nintendo World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> <laughs> the Nintendo Nutella or the N Nutella covered Nutella in my Nintendo championship. So who's the runner up? I think that uh the runner up has got to be Taka. Damn. Who's the winner? In our new world champion. Uh, uh shoot. You know, I just legitimately forgot who was all in this match. Well, luckily for you, I can uh, just kind of wiggle it about so you can see. Uh, I just I think it, um, oh, obviously, it's gotta be Victor the Ascension. Oh shit, Victor is ascending the ranks of the WWE! Connor must not be happy He's about this! He is risen above his, uh, Connor! Connor He's doesn't have a shot! This isn't fair! Nice. <laughs> oh, why you is know, one I, day I, and one year? I'm, I'm trying to make a, I'm trying to make a terrible diabetes joke here. Are you streaming now? Just... Yeah, of course we're streaming. Duh. Austin Aries, I'm not being... Wow! Oh, oh, wow! They're yeah. just trying to bury this poor man. Well, too Don't bad. Worry, Victor is put, now your Nutella does, fucking champion. This does put uh, Taka over a little bit, and I hope that Taka gets another chance somewhere. Because okay, he, sure. he is a good talent. Very Asian. Very nice. <laughs> very kind man. Is anyone else having that ear thing? Oh yeah, uh, in the stream, I think it was, uh, we can only hear you out of our left ear? Oh, you know what, I think it might be because I have it set up as mono. Hey. Why did I say that earlier? I, I, sh I, I tried to, earlier but... when I checked the audio. Here, Hold on. I need to go into my audio stuff, so let's switch over to a safe thing that won't show you a bunch of computer shit. Okay, uh, good idea. Might be a good idea. Maybe. This there we is go. the point where you need a giant picture of something crazy. Okay. There you go. Here's the technical difficulties. Stand by. <laughs> All right. So, uh, how about the Mets? Mets? I don't know about them. Yeah, Mets. With, with their shitty fucking jersey? <laughs> What's the a Mets? worst jersey? I yeah. hate it. Um. Hardware and sound. So. Who else has really terrible jerseys? Um, Probably a lot of people. Yeah. Huh, you know, I gotta appreciate the Vikings, strange. though, just because I love purple. That's strange. It says it's in... Not mono. Hmm. So, stereo? Hmm. Yeah, it says it's in stereo. It says two channels. That's, that's weird. Oh, you know what? It might be. Hold on. Do, 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 do. No, that's that's not an uh, option either. No, now that I turn the audio on, you are in my left ear. Hmm. Huh. Is there... Try changing it to mono? Hold on. Might help. Okay, one second. Technical difficulties. Or just technical so, uh, answers. Okay, okay, question for the chat, just to keep the conversations going. Uh, would you pay for a HD remake of the original Echo the Dolphin using Unreal Engine 4? Oh, shit, I can only set it to be a uh, two channel. Hmm. 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 But mm. perhaps that does seem to be what it is. Um, You're not like that on Skype, mm. so that's weird. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that is weird. Yes. So then it's, it would it's have it's to normal be normal on Skype. So then it would have to be something with uh, XSplit. Yeah. Yeah, it would have to be XSplit. Sound fine. Uh, hmm. Uh, you know what? I might just, I, I might have to tell everybody just fuck it. <laughs> And just deal with the fact fuck that they're coming to your left ear. Everyone, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck your it left ear is getting a lot of love tonight, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me just tongue your left ear, everybody. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm sorry, I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. As much as that sucks. Eh, it could be worse. Yeah, true. 
You could have Victor win a 10 man Victor. Royal Rumble. Fuck you. Christ. Oh, hey! Hey, it's it sounded like a good idea on paper. D uh, did you miss the Eno reading the stream? No, no, I didn't. No, he was talking oh. 518. Eno, wait, wait. Oh, ah. Uh, uh. And then just everybody being like, oh, it's not that funny. Oh, leave me. Ah, I, I do like Jam's idea. Uh, I'm going to bed soon, so David Otunga versus Bo Dallas. Bo wins via cheating and then runs away. Yes, perfect. We're going to ah, go to very, I will very use Bo I will use my booking spot to book that. <laughs> stealing my gimmicks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm stealing your Sami Zayn runs away gimmick, and now I'm going to make it fucking Bo Dallas. <laughs> You son of a bitch. Bo Dallas gives birth to children and then leaves. Bo Dallas versus David Otunga. And then... Bo Dallas wins. With a... F <laughs> wins by... <laughs> cheating. Very somber. And then Bo Dallas is gonna run away because David Otunga's a lawyer, and he can sue him, so that way he wins. And he's really hairy, too. Oh, no. What's wrong with your face? <laughs> what's wrong with your face? Bo Dallas, what's wrong with your face? Bo Dallas is the worst thing ever made by a human being. Bo Except Dallas the is the biggest pipe. disappointment since my son. And while my son eventually hung himself in a truck stop bathroom, the sad realization is Bo Dallas will be around. Forever. It will never go away. Does anybody want a pizza roll? <laughs> and I'm not talking about ear hair plugs. Ow! <laughs> God damn it. I, I watch Red Letter Media. Anyway, uh, <laughs> JBI or Justin, who wants to book next? JBI can go. Just give him the responsibility. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Alrighty. I'll... I'll book an angle. Oh, boy. A... I'll book an other angle. Oh, boy. I can't w wait to find out what this is. <laughs> it's gonna be... A limo or right? Oh, I wonder oh, who it is. Ooh. Ooh. It's gonna be Scotty Too Hotty. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Scotty Tuati <laughs> with that sweet, sweet Sable Wraith money. <laughs> Scotty Tuati is the biggest disappointment since my balls. <laughs> Scotty Tuati is the worst thing ever made by a human being, except the bagpipes. <laughs> All right, Justin, it's your turn to pick. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna book an angle. Another angle, and someone's gonna be leaving. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! Who's leaving? I wonder. Oh Dallas! Oh no! You ran out of the building. <laughs> He's so scared of the lawyer. He's so scared of litigation. He's got to get out of here. Bo Dallas ran away from his life <laughs> and responsibilities. <laughs> Just like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's almost like when you run over an entire family of Korean people and then don't get sued for it because it turns out that you slipped on some black ice, but you really didn't. All right, so, uh, who is it is your turn to book? Oh, goody. Um... I want to do a triple threat. Oh shit. A triple treat. Yes, a triple treat. Uh, just a regular triangle match? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. And who shall be in this triangle of terror? Uh, the man who just came into the building, Scotty Tuhati. Oh shit, Scotty Tuhati making his in ring debut on Pooper Stars. Yes. But who shall he uh, face? <laughs> Biggie Langston. Okay. And? F 
Fandango. Damn. <laughs> what a star-studded guest. I only care about two of these people. <laughs> so, um... Biggie will be our winner. Okay. No title on the line, I'm assuming. No title on the line, no. And who is losing? Uh, Scotty Too Hotty. I think I heard you say Fandango, but... <laughs> Alright, fine. Uh, what is your finish? Uh, is there one where uh, Fandango and uh, and I was hosting us? team up? Yeah, there. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, w what is the uh, finish? It has to be like cleanly by interference, slash interference, or cheating. Uh, cheating. No, oh, man. Biggie, that what dirty a cheater. Heel. And unfortunately, we can't do an aftermath. I can't do an aftermath? No. Nope. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Uh, so, sec. Oh, hi. Hello there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Plinkett. <laughs> or you want? I need you to book me a match. I'll pay you in pizza rolls. Mm, tough decision, but I'll say okay. <laughs> Alright, so I want you to give you guys a history lesson on something called World War One. It was where Vladimir Kozlov and some other dude fought in a match in a cage. Okay, and who happened to be this other dude? You know, that's a damn good question now they come to think of it. Uh... Hmm. You know, I didn't really think this one out. Honest to God. Uh... Uh, I don't know. You pick for me. Alright, fine. <laughs> Who's gonna fight Kozlov in a cage? So Brian Kendrick is the biggest disappointment since Paul London. <laughs> well, Paul London eventually got a bunch of shitty tribal tattoos. Brian oh. Kendrick did too. Aww. Aww. Why is Seuss in the call? You're starting to kind of Aww. beg into Seuss. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I... All right. Uh, that's why I get. That's that's why I get for playing Echo the Dolphin in the background. So too busy thinking about dolphins. Kozlov or Kendrick? In the ocean. I think it's gotta be Brian Kendrick. Good choice. <laughs> of and course it is. Look at here talking to. What is Hulking your master? What is your finish? Uh, what? What are my options? Cleanly interference, botch interference. That'd be a botch interference. From. <laughs> from that coward Bo Dallas. Oh, no, he came back! He left! <laughs> no, he came back! And oh, no. He ran and smacked into the cage and fucked everything up for Vladimir Kozlov. <laughs> team, team White Trunks! <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. What is the oh, aftermath? Bo Dallas <laughs> runs away. Oh, no, I can't think Bo Dallas runs away. Ah, uh, no, um, Kozlov runs away. Oh, shit. This is a, oh, he's no. embarrassed. He's embarrassed about his uh, yes. attempts at getting his best friend, Bo with Dallas, to screw everything up. But obviously, Bo Dallas is a loser. He can't do anything right. God damn it. Feel <laughs> so what is the purpose of this? Um, debut Kozlov, debut Kendrick. Put Kendrick over, put Kozlov over, put Bo Dallas over. Put on a good yes. match or build up future match. <laughs> Let's build this up to a future Brian Kendrick... Uh, Brian Kendrick, Bo Dallas, classic. Oh boy. I, I couldn't say that with a straight face, and I deeply apologize for that. Just give me a second. I need to do a thing. <laughs> Is it kick me out? Because I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Running away isn't good for my character. Well, that's what you think. That's like your opinion, man. <laughs> oh, of course, you gotta have the hashtag in there. Of course! Yeah! <laughs> Remember 
we're not on that show for that horde to keep on. <laughs> so, it's time for my turn to book a match. And I'm gonna book a women's match. Four on four matched in... Oh, I'm sorry. Come the women. Four corners match. I'm armed. And it will be Sasha Banks taking on Bailey, taking on Sarah Del Rey, taking on ah oh, shit, she's not on my roster because she's not on any roster. Shit, give me oh, a second. No, she's technically my a part of my roster, but I had her on no roster, so that way we could book her in anything. Ah. Uh. So anyway, Sasha Banks, Bailey. Um, Sarah Del Rey. That was the other one. That's Sami Zayn. Sarah Del Rey. <laughs> yes, Sami Zayn. And Sammy. Emma. <laughs> Out come the women. All that I have. Uh, of course, I don't have a women's championship, so... <laughs> no, you don't. The Tampax Women's Champion. <laughs> the Tampax Women's Champion. Kotex, come on. <laughs> Oh, fine. The Kotex yes. Championship. <laughs> Damn it, now Lydia I came up with an even better idea. No, the Kotex Co-op Championships. <laughs> Ooh. Or, could, or we could always just call it the uh, Sylvester, or Sylvester Hyman War Championship. Not bad for it to have. I agree. I wish I had Paige instead of Emma, but you know. Uh, so our winner... <laughs> Spinning Biz on the line. No. <laughs> Our winner will be Emma, of course. The Intermenstrual I... Championship! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Emma is gonna beat Sarah Del Rey. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I don't know how to feel about that, really. Well, I, okay, would you rather Emma have beaten Bailey? Yeah, I guess that's true. Exactly. Emma is going to win cleanly. And this is going to send a message to her love interest, Eric Marie, that she is capable. <laughs> no! 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 He doesn't watch Pooper Star. She's in bed! Yeah. yeah. I... It's bedtime. Okay, Air Station, I don't have Asuka. JBI does. I've got the women's, the pretty women. He has all the women's. He doesn't have that whore, Nikki Bella. He doesn't have that whore, Nikki Bella, or, or women's. Brie Bella, or Sasha, or Bailey. Or Linda McMahon. Or Linda McMahon, the most prized diva of all time. I agree. Yes, yes, I agree. Completely, wholeheartedly. Speaking of JBI, it's your turn to book. Huh. Fuck. Uh, how many matches do you have? Um, matches? We have... Oh, you have quite a bit. Quite a few, actually. Alrighty, I'll book another ankle then in that case. Alright. Uh, it will be... Give me a second. An other angle. Perhaps it should be a leaving angle. Perhaps it should be Vladimir Kozlov. You know what? I'll do other angles. Oh, fuck. Uh, what kind of angle? I'll do leaving. Gee, I wonder who's leaving. Oh, <laughs> Of course. Oh, again? Ah! Well, he came back! He has to go away again! That's true, good point. This is the stupidest episode of Pooper Stars we've ever had. <laughs> I, hate to, I hate to see them go, but I love to see them leave. Team White Trunks. <laughs> Team White Trunks. They're waving their white flags! <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, and uh, Justin, it's your turn to book. All right, I'm going to book a Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match. Ooh. It's actually a number one contendership for your mid-card title. Oh, no, for the Aerotech <laughs> Temporary Championship? Somebody could possibly face Jervis? They possibly could. Oh, no. But who? And of course, well, well, Connor's very upset that Victor has a title, so he wants a shot at a title. Oh, shit, Connor. So, of course, Connor's in there. He loves cheese and possibly temporary selling it. He does love cheese, you're right. Uh, elimination, not Four Corners. Oh, my apologies. Well, and you say Fiddle Four, I immediately think fucking Four Corners, so... I did say Elimination, though. I'm deaf. I know that. I'm listening to piano music. <laughs> I'm listening to it's a crazy pianist, just... Ding-dook, ding-dook, ding-dook. 
<laughs> At least you're not listening to a crazy bus. I wish I was listening to crazy bus. Anyway, um, Connor will be facing. Yes, Connor will be facing Drake Younger. Oh, good choice. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Senior WWE official. <laughs> you do have Finn Balor, right? Of course. All right, then Finn Balor as well. And? And Bray Wyatt. Ah. I like this match. Me too. Everyone in it. <laughs> Number one contendership, you said, yes? Yes. All right. And, well, unfortunately, Connor had a bad time and got eliminated first. Oh, damn. So who got eliminated oh, second? He had too much cheese in the back. Oh, you're true. He's got constipated. I am true. Shut up. <laughs> He's backed up with poop. <laughs> All right, uh, the second one to be eliminated is... This is tough. It is. Uh, Finn Balor. Oh, shit. Oh. But then who's loser number three? Loser number three is Bray Wyatt with Drake Younger going over. Oh, shit. Drake Younger? Drake Younger. He's going to have to face Jervis Cottonbelly? He's going to have to face Jervis Cottonbelly. Opposites. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, cleanly interference, splash interference, or cheating? It's going to be botched interference. Bye. Well, hang on. The botched interference would only have to do with the last two and not the rest of the match, Yes, right? the last two. All right, well, then never mind. Okay. So, it's just going to be clean lane. Okay. And that's it. If oh. I could choose any of them, I would have Victor try to help Connor, but have that not work out. But unfortunately, he just had too much cheese. That's true. <laughs> Way too much cheese. Connor to just win and lose. <laughs> <laughs> if only that was a possibility. Yeah. And then in our final, our main event, we go to who's. Oh shit, um, I don't know, pass. Okay, we go to sec. Ah, uh, well, obviously we have to uh, book an angle of a limo arriving. Oh shit, I wonder who's coming. Wait. <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, take a guess. I, I want to hear what your guess is. You might actually be right. Taz. No, it's Bo Dallas. Of course. What? <laughs> he left and got a limo? <laughs> yes, he left, got a limo, and came back. Oh, uh, he just happened but... to steal fucking <laughs> Scotty's limo. It's <laughs> like he left, Grand ran Death. into it, and then just got out the door. Grand Theft Bo. <laughs> God it. No, it's Grand Theft Oppo. Oppo. <laughs> ah! On, finish it. Fuck. It's always Bo. I like it. He's our fucking comedy character. Anyway. So, I guess we gotta start the show. Uh, <laughs> what segment will do the best? I'm Bo Ryan. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Primo vs. Hardcore Holly. H.C. Holly, <laughs> interesting, is making his debut in this show. Primo is the reigning WWE Starbucks low-fat latte champion, and has been since the 20th of January. Ooh. Oh, man. Overall Primo rating of... not into this match. They were not. <laughs> they were not happy to see Primo win in a squash. <laughs> well, would you? Ah. Uh... But hey, at least the match was all right. <laughs> well, well, from the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like a squash. Oh. Uh... Well, you know, I didn't really read it, so... Well, from what I'm reading... It doesn't matter. <laughs> In our canon, it's a squash. Okay. Since who pays attention to the stuff that happened there? The NWA Nutella World Heavyweight Championship was unfortunately lost in image. With a 63% overall image? rating, a 67% crowd reaction, and a 55%... It had an image to begin with? Grand Theft Auto, Bo, I get fucking Dester. Yeah, sure. Uh, 67% reaction with a 55% uh, match quality. <laughs> Crowd shat this more than Roman Reigns in the Royal Rumble last year. <laughs> yeah, oh, poor, poor Primo. Damn. Uh, and of course you're Victor. <laughs> Talking Michidoku, of course, the last person to get eliminated. Uh, who got eliminated first? Enzo. Uh, Austin Aries got eliminated by Paul Heyman. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh wow! <laughs> of course. Fall away slam by John Cena puts down a. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No. Uh, elimination number one was Enzo Amor. You're right. I told you. Then Enzo. Then uh, Austin Aries was eliminated second. Elimination number three was AJ Lee. Oh. Uh, Victor. Uh, elimination number four. Beef Wellington eliminated by Sin Cara. Well, that makes me sad. Get the car out of there. Uh, Marcus Corvan is thrown out by John Cena. Then Sin Cara got eliminated by Cena again. Then we move on Wait, to what? elimination number seven. Paul Heyman thrown out of the ring by Victor. And then Cena got thrown out of the ring by Victor too. Fucking Cena Victor. giving Victor the rub. He sure is. <laughs> Victor's going over. And then of course He's Victor rising. defeated. Uh, Tiger mentioned Oku barely a dud. Really escaped a dud rating at the quarter of a star. I think that it was at least a half a star. Thank you. Bo Dallas versus David Otunga. 57% overall rating, 43% match uh, crowd reaction with a 72% match quality. I feel like that should be flipped. I feel like it should be five stars. Only one star, uh, with, of course... Oh. Bo Dallas winning, cheating, and running away. <laughs> of course. A limo pulls up to the outside and outsteps Scotty too hotty. He looks around and heads for the locker room 69%. <laughs> the fact that that got a 69% is just kind of... We see Bo Dallas <laughs> leaving the arena for 62. <laughs> Scotty too hotty versus Big E Langston versus Fandango. Highest rated segment so far. 72% overall rating with a 68% crowd reaction and a 76% match quality with Big E going over Scotty and Fandango. Not a bad match quality. Oh. Like I said, highest rated shit. Yeah. So far. Vladimir Kozlov versus Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick debuted his new gimmick and I got a positive response. Fortunately, Vladimir Kozlov lost two points of overness from this match. 68% overall rating, 69% oh, no. uh, crowd reaction with a 66% match quality. Nothing special, uh, nothing special at all. One and a quarter star, Brian Kendrick defeats uh, Vladimir Kozlov after we get the debut of Team White Trunks. I have no words. <laughs> words are hard. And then, of course, we got Sasha. Oh, wow, this... That's mean. Sasha Banks versus Bailey versus Sarah Del Rey versus Emma. 61% overall. 59% crowd reaction with a 63% match quality. Again, that's mean. Uh, Emma defeats uh, Sarah Del Rey with a Emma Lock victory. Three-fourths of a star. Really? That's it? We see Bo Dallas leave the arena. <laughs> Fans are even happier that he left. 70%. <laughs> They're happier he left the second time. <laughs> they love it. EWR hates women. Yeah. Well, they love Bo Dallas. Connor versus Drake Younger versus Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. 69% overall, 62% crowd reaction with a 77% match quality. All right. Uh, elimination style. Yeah, Younger making his debut in this match, and he wins. He does. Two stars. Well, I disagree. A limo pulls up outside and outsteps Bo Dallas. He looks around and heads for the locker room. 63%. Fuck off. Oh, they weren't as happy as So we got a 62% overall rating. The worst segment somehow was Primo beating the fuck out of Hardcore Holly. Makes sense. And then, of course, I... our best segment was Big E beating Scotty Tuhati and Fundango. Somehow. Mm. Wait, so I got the worst and the best? You got the worst and the best. A dubious distinction. <laughs> Bo just went to Bo McDonald's. just went to McDonald's. Came back uh, with stuff for Vladimir trying to throw it through the cage, but then he fucked up. Let's read our extreme mail. We should. Bo Dallas thinks that he should be higher up the car. I agree. Oh Let's go I put a agree. fire up the card right now. Potelis was used enough. <laughs> uh, Brian was, Kendrick also believes that he should be higher up the card. So does Sarah Del Rey. Finn Balor. I think it might be pushing me too high up the card. The fans seem to be resenting me. Okay. Do you push him? Matt Hardy wants a match with Al Snow. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that can happen. Randy Marie <laughs> wants a match with our truth. That can happen. <laughs> Damien Mizdow still wants that fucking match with Rhino. It's gonna happen. You ever used Bo Dallas at the last show? The fans started to get sick of seeing him. I don't think no, they, they did. Six point five one for Pooper Stars. All right. Uh, give me a second. I need to go to my. It, how, how were you guys booking this bad before I came in, or did I just come in and basically fuck? Up uh, actually, this was the worst I have ever booked. Um, I tend to book a lot more seriously. Hmm. I have the worst. So, in other words, you're saying I came by and fucked everything up? Nah. No. We we oh, decided sorry. that we would be funnier with my show anyway. So, you're just following the gimmick. All right. Unfortunately, Hat? Wait, Finn Bauer. Wait, was a gimmick. Uh, kind of. Originally, the sure, gimmick whatever. was that we were going to uh, do this more like in a competition, but then it was just like that's not funny. So, <laughs> or entertaining. So we just decided, fuck it. <laughs> so it is Wednesday. We do not have a show Wednesdays. So we'll just go to the next day. He's not ready to be pushed this high up car. Well, fuck you, Sophie. I think. <laughs> I think the fans disagree. They do. Poe Dallas is ready for that main event push. Brother. They love when he leaves. Also, it's Thursday, also. so that means it's time to book SmackDown. Just bring it with your announcers, Michael Did Cole you? and Jesse Ventura. Okay, so before you start, though, I do have to request that uh, Bo Dallas does need to be in a tag team with Claws off. Oh no, I already did that. Oh. I already got Team I White Trunks. Hashtag Team White Trunks. The hottest new tag team in fucking Pooper Stars history. Which have to now compete with Hepatitis, the team of Titus O'Neil and Hideo Itami. Mark E. Mark. <laughs> the team of Marcus Corvon and Mark Henry with their finisher, the Funky Punch. Oh. My team of Ryan Tai, the team of Ryback and Takamichidoku. Of course, the Ascension... The Jersey Devils, which is what I like to call Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. Uh, the New Day. That. And then that's it. So they have quite a bit of competition to deal with in the tag team division. I have the most competitive tag team division. Of everybody else. You sure do. And I have such a great tag team. Hepatitis. Who doesn't love Hepatitis? That's a good point. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> no, I'm quoting you on that. All right, <laughs> so it's Thursday. Is JBI back? Uh, well, here he is. Saying things in the thing. All right. All right, so let's go. So we are only booking for JBI's roster. So for the benefit of who's, I will go ahead and go through his roster real quick for you. Uh, I can't. My uh, video keeps cutting off. Okay. Well, I'm having internet issues. I'm getting the loading screen, so. I said don't quote me. Bastard. Alright, so who would like to book first? Alright, looks like I'm booking first. We're gonna have an angle. And we're gonna have a diva's angle. Ooh, those are fun. Oh, good. Actually, hold on. I mean, because the diva's angle that I want to have requires things to be special. And now it is time for us to have, of course, a bikini contest. Oh no. That's about right. And we're going to have a bikini contest between Bam Bam Bambi and Emma. Of course we will. And of course, Bam Bam Bambi is going to beat Emma. <laughs> oh good. You sure? <laughs> I'm positive. Have you seen Bam Bam Bambi? Would you like to post a picture of Bam Bam Bambi into the chat so that way they know what Bam Bam Bambi looks like? That would mean I have to look at a picture of Bam Bam Bambi. <sighs> I'll do it, don't... Uh... I'm not putting Asuka in a bikini contest! <laughs> I like living, thank you! I can't find a... Oh, is that a... There's Bam Bam Bambi. I found Bam Bam Bambi. We don't want the... <laughs> The bikini contest to end in death. <laughs> so good. 
There we go. Really that is there. Bam Bam Bambi. There's Bam Bam Bambi. I mean, really, how could Emma compete? Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, that, that's hor- oh, that's horrifying. I don't no, like that. Oh, sure, I don't either. <laughs> this raises ah. more questions than answers. <laughs> Kill it with fire. Just, no. Get it. Go, go away, please. <laughs> People keep posting a chat so that way it goes away. Uh, pretty sure I see straight up nipple in that chat. That's you the do. dress. The yep. whole entire you dress do. is a nipple. <laughs> yeah, I see it. It's Thank there. You, All right. So now, uh, that we have that abomination out of the way. Yep. <laughs> we're sure going do to have book that next. out of the way. What is wrong with the judge? Oh, I'm sorry, we had, uh... <laughs> let's see. Who, who would we have as the judge? Who would pick Bam Bam Bambi over Emma? <laughs> That's a good question. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Jesse Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jesse Ventura was the judge. <laughs> he probably was. She's willing to listen to my conspiracy theory theories, Michael. <laughs> conspiracy theories. <laughs> well, he does have one of those. That calls for a he death does. stare. <laughs> Fucking deal with it. All right, who's booking next? Uh, I'll book next. All right, what would you like to book? I'm gonna book an angle. Oh boy. What kind of angle? Well, it's gonna be a host angle. Oh. We're gonna have a talk show. Oh no, who's a who's talk show? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, okay, what are we doing? First off, we need, I need to tell you what we're going to have. Yes, thank you. The host is going to interview a worker, and then they're going to brawl! Oh, no. I know, it's pretty crazy. I I know. Great, now I have to change the Survivor Series into Conspiracy Series. <laughs> yes, you do. Damn it. Yes, you do. <laughs> so who is our host? Well, let me tell you who's being uh, yes. the who, guest on the show. Who's the guest? Of course, that's... Eric Marie, oh, the big red baby. Oh no, Eric Marie. He's being interviewed about Emma and his family and how the whole relationship is going. But who's the host? Well, that's a really good question. And of course, it's Bad News Barrett. Oh no, Bad News Barrett. Delivering the bad news. <laughs> I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Oh uh, snap. <laughs> Toxka. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, Are you oh. sure you don't want it to be Oscar? Because <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> That is amazing, but we got we got to save that for next week. Eric Marie is confused oh, about the concept of love, and then beats up Bad News Barrett. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> he doesn't understand. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I'm gonna confuse you sexually. <laughs> he already <laughs> is. Uh He's just going through puberty now. <laughs> Oh good. Fucking puberty hit him like a freight train then. <laughs> a freight train. No freight train. Who is on this show? Smooth belly. Oh, alright. Talk ska. <laughs> a talk show with Oscar. Same thing. That's even better. Who wants to book next? All right, what would you like to book? I will book a triple threat match. A uh, triple threat elimination. Ooh. It'll be between. Between? Matt Hardy. Of course. Al Snow. Of course. And Sami Zayn. Gee, I wonder what the <laughs> outcome will be of the Sami Zayn match. It's <laughs> a good question. Uh... Title on the line? Nah. Okay. What is your... Who is uh, loser number one? Loser number one? It's gonna be... Uh, loser one will be Sami Zayn. Oh no. Well, good. Actually, I just had a thought. Since this is a triple threat match, we can't have Sami Zayn run away. <laughs> Oh shit, that's right. There's a next segment. True. Yeah, we'll have it come out to run away. <laughs> uh, who is loser number two? Loser number two will be Matt Hardy. Oh no, Al Stoke wins a match. Fuck. <laughs> uh, what's your finish? Are having Al Snow win something? 
Now Snow wins. Fuck it, he wins cleanly. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. It's All like, right, I well, hate Matt Hardy, so it's like, I don't want him to win, but at the same time, Al Snow. I think we found <laughs> the worst uh, segment of the show. Uh, if it isn't the worst segment, I will be very surprised. So, uh, sec. <sighs> well, how am I going to top this off? Well, um, we are going to have a segment Loser of, number two, uh, someone I was arriving. Oh, no, who could it be? It is, um... It is Bo Dallas arriving? Bo Dallas could not arrive on another not show. It's <laughs> the wrong show. He can arrive on Raw, but he can't arrive on SmackDown. All right, fine, fine, fine. Uh, who do we have on this show? All right, you've got AJ Styles, oh. Al Snow, Alicia Fox, Oscar, Bad News Barrett, Bam Bam Bambi, Becky Lynch, Carlito, Charlie Obviously Haas. It's going to be Oscar arriving. Oscar arrives. For I, I don't know. If she's going to be booked. Don't care. She's being. She, she's arriving. Uh, who's? Do you want to try and book a match or just? Uh, yeah, I want to do a tag team match. Play a player. Uh, yes. Um, would you like to know who the tag team champions are? Uh, I don't care who the tag team champions are. Okay, it's good. not a. T- it's not a title match. Okay. Um, what else arrives on my show? No, he only arrives on my show. He's my talent. I only use him on shows on that I have. I want to do uh Raw. access to book. I want to do the team of hepatitis versus. Uh, that's, I don't that's, remember that's the, the name. Wrong show too. My, that's that's my show. God damn it! Yeah. Uh, would you like so to know? I what, don't know who the tag teams are. Right, let me go back and I'll show you what uh, JBI's tag teams are, which are a lot worse. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. I'm Excuse supposed, you. I've oh. got the greatest team of the newer Los Matadores. That is true. So he has. I don't know, which is the team of Freight Train and Stardust with their finisher of three question marks. <laughs> yeah, no. Out of a hat, which is a rando another rando tag team of Chris Jericho and Curtis Axel with their finisher the Tip Topper. Outlaw Inc. with uh, Eddie Kingston and Homicide. Then he has the newer Los Matadores with El Torito and Pentagon Jr. And that's it. Uh, let's do Outlaw Inc. Right, versus, I don't know. Okay. And Outlaw Inc. is gonna go over, cause... Fuck. That, I don't know. Damn. After... Because fuck. After JBI tries to bury them, who tries to resurrect them from the dead? No, I just, I just want to bury anything that has to do with Freight Train. Aww. Whoa! Damn! Whoa! And do you not like the smooth best. Bella? Who's hates memes? I, I, I really do. I hate memes. Uh, would you like Eddie Kingston to backfist the fuck out of Eddie uh, Freight Train? Sure. All right. <laughs> at least we can agree on a finish. I, well, at least if he's gonna go out, he's gonna go out like that. Uh, cleanly, count out, DQ, interference, botch interference, DQ through interference, dusty finish, DQ, dusty finish, DQ with a run in, cheating or opponent miscommunication? Uh, opponent miscommunication. Oh shit. Stardust and Freight Train not on the same page. I can't imagine why. Because they're not compatible. And what is this? And what is the aftermath? The losers argue? Uh, no. What are the other aftermaths? Uh, Outlaw Inc. Celebrate. I don't know. Get revenge. Uh, I don't know. Get beat down. beaten down. We just have the winner celebrate. Alright. Because they're happy they actually won something. In their second match. Uh, alright, so what's the purpose? The purpose? Shit. I'm None. Pick whatever you think would be good. None. No purpose. All right. No purpose. There's no purpose for this. It's just a match, and some idiot picked. What's that? There's no purpose to this show. Hmm. I'm lightly startled. God damn it, Hitbox. Yeah. Break it. Punch it. All right. <clears throat> so, I guess it's my turn to pick. Or book, rather. Fuck. As if I'm... Alright, we're gonna do a match. And we're gonna have a one-on-one match. It'll be a singles match. And we're gonna have Asuka. 
actually fucking wrestle. And Asuka oh, good. is gonna wrestle. Duh. Page. Sure. And the Nancy Benoit Memorial Woman's Championship, Woman's Championship, is on the line. No, oh, stop. I'm having Oscar win. Of course. Cleanly. And then in the afterglow, fucking Paige will, I don't know, refuse to have a temper tantrum. I almost did pick Kevin Owens, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and the purpose is to debut Asuka. What a better way to debut by winning the woman's title. Indeed. All for Nancy. <laughs> All for Nancy. Asuka said on her talk show segment, Toxka, that she will win the championship <laughs> in memory <laughs> of Nancy Benoit. Oh, good. Her dearest and closest friend, Nancy Benoit. Her deep, close, personal friend. Who booked, uh... Oh, who, who booked the talk show segment? Was that Justin? That was me, yeah. So it's right. my turn to book? Yes. All right, well, I'm going to book a another angle. Oh, no. Uh, it's going to be an ambush angle. Oh, no. It's going to be a two-on-one backstage ambush. Oh, no. I think you might know where this is going. I'm afraid to guess, actually. Who is being uh, assaulted? Emma. Oh, no. By the parents oh, of no. Eric Marie. Oh, no. They are so upset that what she's turning their son into. What she's trying to turn their son into. Exactly. They are having none of it. Wow. What a development in this storyline uh, that will go nowhere. It's a backstage ambush, not a regular ambush. Oh, god damn it. Hold on. I said that, but you I know. Not. I'm deaf. Yeah, I know. I've got music going on in these ears, you know? Oh, I understand. Uh, of course, the parents of Eric Marie, Randy, and Eva. Well, I've created something horrifying. I'm gonna make a GIF out of it. Alright, so who booked fucking Al Snow, Sami Zayn, and Mark Matt Hen Mar do, you, yeah, do yeah. you have to ask that? Yeah, JBI. Yeah, do you have to ask that? JBI. What are you gonna book? <laughs> to think Randy Orton versus Eric Rowan. Well, I don't know Randy Orton, so. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck those two people are. <laughs> Oh no. Could it be a single worker? It could be. Could it be could. The Rock? It could be. <laughs> God, I'm glad you didn't forget about this gimmick. Could it be none? <laughs> Indeed. Could it be self promotion? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, we found the highest rated segment. Exactly. <sighs> All right, so I would like to remind all of you, we only have three matches. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. just one of us has to book the next match, I guess. All right, so I guess it's... Uh, oh, hey, no more he Heroes music. Yay. Um, yeah. uh, the angle involving... Oh, yeah, so that'd be sick. Uh, hi. Oh, see you. Um, Oh, jeez, what am I going to do? Okay, uh, we're, we're, we're going to book Asuka to lose. You know, we are going to just book a regular old, uh, a regular old, uh, 1v1. Match. Yeah, it's a regular old 1v1. Alright, and who's... With tables! Oh. Okay. <laughs> Save the tables. Alright, uh, yeah, tell, me who's, tell me who's on the roster, because I... Can't. Okay. AJ Styles, Al Snow, Alicia Fox... Oscar, Bad News Barrett, Bam Bam Bambi, Becky Lynch, Carlito, Charlie Haas, Chris Jericho, China, Curtis a Axel, fuck, David Mizdow, Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre. Oh yo, shit! Have we booked that uh, Mizdow, um, that Mizdow thing yet? They wanted. What was the Mizdow Miz thing they wanted? Mizdow versus Rhino. Oh, did you want to actually do that? All right. Yeah, All right. why not? All right, Damian, happy. Damian Mizdow Let's taking see if on. They work well together. Taking on Rhino. Who's our spinny Miz champion? Is it? Miz. Oh, it's the Miz? Fuck. 
Oh, All right, never mind. Of course it's a freaking Miz. Well, it used to be Miz now. Mm. So who's winning? The only reason I had the spinning Miz time. Oh, uh, I think it should be Rhino. Because oh, Rhino shit. has experiences with uh, throwing people through fucking tables. Uh, finish? Uh, finish? Clean finish. Yeah. As clean as you can get and murdering somebody with a table. Aftermath? Uh, aftermath? Um, Mizdow throws a fit. Alright, Damien Mizdow has stepped in. Yeah. Purpose? Um, build up to a future match. Oh, shit. Because, frankly, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing myself. <laughs> uh, who's? I'm not the only one at this point, am I? You're booking the semi-main. Oh. Oh god, I'm booking the semi-main event. All right. Um, no pressure. No pressure. Singles match. Okay, just regular singles. Just match? Just a regular singles match, one v one, no gimmick, no nothing. All right. Who's uh, facing who? AJ Styles. Okay. Versus. I have no idea because I wasn't paying attention. Okay. When you were going through the roster. AJ Styles, Al Snow, Alicia Fox, Oscar. Bad News Barrett, Bam Bam Bambi, Becky Lynch, Carlito, Charlie Haas, Chris Jericho, Hold on. China, Curtis Axel, Damian Mizdow, Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre, Eddie Kingston, El Torito, Eric Murray, Eric Rowan, Eva Murray, uh... even colder Austin, Frankie the Face, Freight Train, Gold Dust, Homicide, Jamie Noble, Jason Albert, Joy Mercury, Kane, Kevin Owens, Lana, Lita, Matt, Matt Hardy, fuck, Paige, Pentagon Jr., Randy Marie, Randy Orton, uh, Rhino, Rodney Mack, R Truth, Sami Zayn, uh, Sean Stasiak, Shelton Benjamin, Stardust, Tamina, The Hardcore Princess, The Miz, Zach Gallen. Um. So I picked AJ AJ Styles. Um, I'm thinking Dolph Ziggler. Good choice. Uh, I think Dolph Ziggler is actually our Electrovision champion. He is indeed. Do you want to have the title on the line, or? Sure, put the title on the line. All right. Title on the line, and then who is the winner? Uh. Title doesn't change in a DQ or uh, or or whatever, right? Yes. Uh, the winner by DQ is uh, AJ. All right. Do you want it to be through interference or just by straight up DQ? Uh, straight up DQ. Okay. So no running. And then in the aftermath, uh, Dolph beats down. Uh, AJ. So we get Dolph Ziggler. Uh, hold on. Basically, Dolph cheats, gets caught, and AJ wins the match, but uh, Dolph continues the beat down on uh, AJ. Okay, so we'll say Brawl to the back because I don't actually have a, just a beat okay. down. So. And then the purpose, I'm guessing, is to build up to a future match? Yes. Man, Kevin Owens is going to be pissed. <laughs> I like that. Now, if you could just put Oscar's little mask next to it, it would be perfect. Um, yeah, build up to a future match. So we are going to end tonight with an angle, and it will be an authority angle. Oh shit. So, and it will be Authority announces 1v1v1 for the next big event. Is that the name of the pay-per-view? The next big event? No, that's just the <laughs> event title. So, I'm gonna check JBI's authority figures just so I know who they are. Okay, so it'll be William Regal announcing it. The Regal. The Regal. Right. The Regal. William Regal will be announcing that Asuka 
will be defending her title, not only against Eva Marie, but Emma. Oh, snap. And we're going to go ahead and start the show. Oh, boy. I love how my two authorities are The Rock and William Regal. <laughs> Meanwhile, I think my authorities are Brock Lesnar, John, John Laurinaitis, and Daz. They sure are. It's Daz! That's an authority right there. I mean, he did try and get fucking, uh... Um, <clears throat> he did try and get Ahmed Johnson... Or actually, he succeeded in getting Ahmed Johnson uh, suspended, so... He did? When that should not have been in his power to do. It was! So, so, of course, we start off tonight with Bam Bam Bambi and Emma, both in the ring, in robes, ready for a bikini contest. Bam Bam goes first and poses for the crowd. Emma goes next and struts around the ring. The judge listens to the crowd reaction and then declares Bam Bam Bambi the winner. She celebrates while Emma stands in the corner looking furious. <laughs> As she should. Please. Please, no. And, of course, Bam Bam Bambi gained one point of overness from this segment. Next, we have Bad News Barrett in the ring for his own personal interview segment. He announces that tonight's guest is Eric Marie, who comes out from the back. They try to do a straight interview, but it becomes obvious that there is a tension between the two, as Bad News Barrett continuously brings up the fact that Emma confuses him sexually, and so he becomes furious and beats the shit out of Bad News Barrett. Mm. A young boy with uh, terrible, terrible Much hormonal fun. issues. You know. Thank you, Repelek. <laughs> now you have to have that logo on the screen for the interview segment. <laughs> oh, you're right. Hold on. No good. Actually, we'll put it Did everybody die? Did everybody fall asleep? Everybody okay? No. Okay, everybody's okay. All right, good. This isn't really covering up anything important then. Yeah, it's kind of not, to be fair. Ah, breaking kayfabe. Yeah, I want to do that. That is true. How else am I gonna edit the scene? Black screen. Yeah, well, can't do that. Uh, give me a second. Seriously, bad. I'm gonna turn that off. Actually, I'll just put that in that corner. There we go. <laughs> no, actually, that would cover up something important. So I'm just gonna put that there. <laughs> See where it was. All right. So 74% for that uh, segment. Next, it's Matt Hardy versus Al Snow versus Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, of course, did not run away. Actually, Sami Zayn didn't run away this show. That's ah! true. Didn't book her. Is, didn't is book our second thing? gimmick. Damn. So, uh, of course, we end up with 70% uh, overall, 63% crowd reaction, but a 77% match quality. Oh, As Matt bad. Hardy is defeated by a snowplow. Oh. Well, where'd he get the snowplow from? Oscar arrives backstage and she gains two points of overness with a 64% oh, wow. overall rating. That's pretty good. <clears throat> so our next match is Outlaw Inc. versus I Don't Know. <laughs> Freight Train and Stardust are teaming up as I Don't Know for the first time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's right. Uh... 64% overall, 63 crowd reaction, and 66% match quality. Backfist to the future <laughs> wins it. <laughs> that shook the ring. One, two, three. Uh, I don't. Do you know what one star means? Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Oscar versus Paige. 74% overall reaction uh, rating. 62% crowd reaction, but 86% match quality. Oh, wow. Whoa. So, Paige lost two points of overness from this match, but Asuka gained them. Good! Huh. As Asuka is now officially your new Nancy Benoit Memorial Women's Champion. 
She sure is. Wait, is it a memorial to Nancy Benoit or a memorial to women? Sure. <laughs> Emma is backstage in her locker room. In comes Randy Marie, and he attacks. They begin brawling around the room. <laughs> oh my <gasps> god. Eva Marie comes in too, and she joins in the attack on Emma. The two on one <laughs> attack leaves Emma down in her own locker room. Okay. I wanted Emma to. Right? I wanted Emma to initiate, but I guess Randy is just like, "Don't touch my boy." Yeah, he's so <laughs> upset. Randy lost two points of overness from woman beating. Well, that might do that. Yes. The Rock is yeah. backstage. He got on the stick and spent the interview to putting himself over. Ninety-four percent. Fuck you, JVI. <laughs> Can I keep thinking it going? Damien Sandow versus Rhino. This is our another very surprisingly good match. With a shit crowd reaction. 75% overall rating, 68% crowd reaction, and a 83% match quality. Oh, damn. Damien Mizdow is losing overness because of his weak gimmick of Chameleon. Chameleon wins. So that's a 2 and 3 fourths star match. Dolph Ziggler versus AJ Styles. So... 76% overall reaction rating, 70% reaction, and an 83% match quality. I'm actually surprised by that. Dolph Ziggler lost a point of overness from this match. AJ Styles gained it, though. And the spinny WWE Electrovision Championship has lost image. Oh, no. For another two and three-fourths of a star match. William Regal is backstage and announces that at Elimination Chamber, we will see Asuka, Eva Marie, and Emma compete in a triangle match. With the women's How that's championship do. Uh, 76%. So, right. our uh, overall rating is a 71%, uh, lifted by The Rock's interview, because JVI is shit. That's true. And then the worst segment, of course, was Bam Bam Bambi winning a bikini contest. <laughs> As it should Emma. be. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, Jesse Ventura. In case anyone needs <sighs> another reminder of what Bam Bam Bambi looks like. Stop posting that. No. <laughs> God, we don't need to know. No, they need to know who won that contest. They need another reminder. No, you know what? Here. Here's, here's a picture of uh, ancient fish Nucleostis as a tornado. There. Do me a favor, put post Toxka again. <laughs> ah, fuck. So let's read our extreme uh, mail. I don't know, I like this terrifying picture of uh, the ancient Nucleostis fish. Oof. Being, uh, so tornado. our overall rating was a 6.04. Sounds about right. Matt Hardy is losing heat because you're pushing him too much. What? No. Oh. Well, mm. AJ Styles and Dolph Ziggler work pretty well together due to their similar styles. Oh, well, that's good. AJ ah. Styles is losing heat because you're pushing him too much. Maven <laughs> is thinking of working some matches with Adam Rose. I what? love that. <laughs> what? Austin I'm, Aries what? still really wants a match with Taka. Dean Ambrose wants a match with Christian. Drew Gulak wants to face Eugene. Hmm. What? I don't know if I'm going to make that one happen. We got a 6.04, as I said before. So, just to compare ratings from last time, I got fucking 47, or I'm sorry, 0.47 more than uh, JBI did. <laughs> Take that. Oh. So it is Friday, so that means we don't have a show again, so we'll just advance to the next day. Well. Wow. <clears throat> Gotta find out all I have no it. current emotions at this point in time. Well, I, I mean, apologize. How could you? I mean, Bam Bam Bambi won a fucking <laughs> bikini contest, and that is what she looks like, and I, I, I don't... I it's, feel very uncomfortable. It is time for Saturday Morning Slam, so that means we are booking Justin's Ooh. roster. Uh, Justin, would you like to book first, or would somebody else like to book first? Oh, someone else can go first. All right, I'll book first. Fuck it. <laughs> We're going to have a match. Oh. Oh. Is it what match I think it is? It'll be a one-on-one -on -one match. Is it a ladder match? It'll be a one-on-one -on -one Texas death match. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. <laughs> It'll be Adam Rose. <laughs> Taking on I agree to this. 
Who, who did? Who wanted to face Adam Rose? Maven. Maven. I don't know how you could forget that Maven. that money match. <laughs> and I'm giving her away in the first fucking match tonight. Who are your champions, by the way? Uh, my champions. Yes. Let's see. We got. Uh, let me look here. Uh, Sammy Callahan is the turkey weight champion. Right. Uh, Greg Holly is the spinny WWE United States champion. Uh, uh -huh. CJ Parker is the spinny rated R WWE champion. And right. the tag team champions are Booker T and Jason Jordan. Right. Which I don't know how that happened. All right, Nor so why? Non-title match, obviously. <laughs> Maybe in the first match, why watch the rest of the show? Oh, you'll find out why. To find out how we're going to top Adam Rose versus Maven in a Texas death match. Well, I don't think we'll top it. In Pennsylvania, of all places. Why Pennsylvania? Because I picked it. Pennsylvania. Uh, who's our winner? Well, of course, it's going to be fucking Adam Rose. Oh, boo! What are Booker and Jordan called? Booker and Jordan. Booker and Jordan. <laughs> They're not an official tag team. That's Losing the titles no soon is what they are called. It's a good oh! Game. They but, need to lose the titles? Okay. But Adam Rose is going to lose by interference. From who, you may ask? Why, from Adam Rose is newly reincarnated friend Sin Cara 2. <laughs> Wait, oh, how shit. did he get them back to life? There's no story oh, behind this. Adam Rose brought him back from the bus. <laughs> Oh shit! He used the power of the bus. Oh no! To drive back into time, back in time to bring back Sankara. <laughs> He's been dead for so long. All right, there goes Sinkara. my seven-month angle. <laughs> Bringing Sankara two back. And then a two-on-one attack on Maven. <laughs> this is unfair. This is offensive and unfair for me. I agree. You see, Adam he Rose. Needs to find a friend. Well, you see, the reason for this was Adam Rose was so disheartened by the fact that one of his rosebuds, Sin Bunny, decided to go ahead and take up the mantle of Sin Cara. So he felt he had to bring back Sin Cara in order to lift the spirits of his bunny. Oh, that's true. Who is totally not the Undertaker. Oh, why would you say that? It's Sin Bunny. <laughs> it's Sin Bunny. Makes total sense to me. So, who would like to go next? <laughs> I'll go next. Alright, so, All right, I'm gonna book an angle. Uh, a Diva's angle, at that. Oh. Diva's oh, gonna be walking divas. in on an unintentional compromising situation. Oh, no. I know. Uh, Diva walking in. Uh, gee, I wonder who it's going to be. Well, obviously, the Diva's gonna be that <laughs> old Bella. No, no, you want it to be Nikki Bella as the trainee. No, I don't. Oh. I don't at all, actually. N Nikki Bella is gonna walk in on who? Well, first off, the trainee is gonna be Triple Bella! Okay, that's the trainer. Yes, excuse me, the trainer. Alright, so who is Triple Bella helping out? Well, Sexy Eddie, of course! That's not a choice! It can't be two men! Wait, what? Yes! Well, that's just ridiculous! You can only pick a man- well, we you can pick forget. two women and a man! Well, this- I- this is just the most offensive thing I've ever seen! So let me just go ahead and book this for you. Brie Bella walks in on that whore Dicky Bella and Sexy Eddie. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> it can't be- Can the whole it. segment! Oh, oh. Alright, fine. No, we're can the segment Alright, then what do you want to do then? Someone else book, I need time. Alright, Sec, you were saying you wanted to do something? I- I think somebody- I- I heard oh. that somebody needs to, uh, strip some titles off of someone. Hold on. Is this true? This is true, but give us... Yeah, okay, JB already answered the question. I'm not saying that you can't, the game is! <laughs> more like gay... Yeah. Why? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's not more like that because they won't let me do anything like that! So you want to do a tag team match, Playa Playa? I do. I want uh, our current champions, those black folk. Kiss right now. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Justin. Do, do you want to go take a dump in someone's shoes? That, that might make you feel happier. All right, let's do, go do take want, a dump in Ahmed Johnson's shoes. <laughs> yes. It's All right. Ahmed so Johnson's shoes. to run th you through the roster for Justin's show, just give me the tag teams and. Uh, okay. Well, then I have yeah. to fucking leave this. Give me a second. All right. So here are our tag teams for Justin's show. 
which aren't okay. that many as well. Okay. We've got oh. the Bella Twins, of course, with uh, Bree and that whore, Nikki. What a whore. Uh, what a uh, The Nulos Matadores with Horny right. Hornswoggle dressed up as Jojo Offerman and the Great Kali. The Nusos okay. of Jimmy John Uso and Big Daddy Rikishi. And the okay. Rosebuds, Adam Rose and Sin Bunny, who is totally Sin the Bunny and not anyone else. Okay, those aren't actually that funny. Why don't exactly. you tell me who our regular roster is? And then you're going to make a tag team? Maybe. All right, give me a second. Let me get Booker T and Jason Jordan out of the way. Not a problem. Now, I, now you're actually having to make me pause my Echo of the Dolphin, damn it. Well, you know. All right, so we got Adam Rose, Ahmed Johnson, Aiden English, Angelico, Big Daddy Rikishi, Booker T, mm -hmm. which obviously we can't pick, uh, Brie Bella, Okay. Uh, Christian, CJ Parker, Darren Young, Dean Ambrose, Drew Gulak, Eugene, Phoenix from Lucha Okay, I have, I have okay. it. Okay. Right, Ahmed well. Johnson and Eugene. Okay, well, Ahmed Johnson is supposed to be suspended above a ring, so you cannot pick Ahmed. <laughs> That's why he's suspended above the ring. <laughs> Still. No, you, no, I'm vetoing this. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Uh, who else is like Phoenix? Go Diego. Go, aka Epico. Because I fucked up okay. and thought that Fernando was Primo. <laughs> uh, Greg, excellent. East Slater, horny as Jojo Offerman. Uh, Jimmy John right, Uso. Uh, Heath Slater and Eugene. Heath Slater and Eugene. Would you like to give this a name? Uh, no. I'll... I can't. I can't name it. I All apologize. Right. And this, of course, will be for the kids' <laughs> replica that. WWE Tag Team Championships. Did you even name that? Jimmy John Uso. <laughs> and uh, I'm taking it that Heath Slater is getting the pinfall over Jason Jordan. No, it's Eugene. I'm sorry, Eugene what? getting the pinfall on Booker T? Yes. All right. <laughs> I and... mean, he, he he is mentally a child, so a kid's replica belt excites him more than the real thing. Oh, you're That's true. you're so right. <laughs> and it also you are and so it true. is one of the, now it is one of those belts that uh lights up and make no, makes noises, right? Of course. Well, oh, well fuck, anything it, else? You press well, in the fuck. plate and it just starts playing the theme from uh the fucking Uso theme. Well, fuck, then, I mean, Eugene's Special like outcast. ecstatic now. Uh, uh, th this is going to be won by uh, Interference. Oh, no. Who is going to interfere on behalf of Eugene and Heath Slater? It's not really on behalf, but it's more just that uh, Ahmed Johnson is suspended above the ring. And, oh, you're uh, right, and he slipped and fell. <laughs> no, 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 Orlando he Jordan's just down on them. Orlando Jordan's just way too distracted by the fact that there's a big black man on top of the stage just screaming incomprehensibly. He doesn't think, know what to think or say. I think you attached. mean Jason Jordan. Oh, whatever. The Jordan, whoever that is. The Jordan. The Jordan, yes. The Jordan. The Jordan. All right, I'll allow it. He's, he's very distracted by the big black man screaming at him in English with a question mark at the end. So what is your... Aftermath. Uh, the aftermath? Um, you can have well, the losers argue, you can have Slater and Eugene celebrate, you can have Booker and Jordan get revenge, get beaten down. For some reason, you get three or two, which I'm going to veto. You can have a run in for the save or a run for failed save. Uh, run for fail save. Uh, who is going to run in on behalf of Jason Jordan that and Booker T and Nikki. fucking fail? That Whoa. poor Nikki Bella, of course! <laughs> She's going for all the cock meat she, she can. She wants all the cock meat she can get. She wants that deep Sex dark... Sex Daddy will not be happy about she this. She wants that black cock meat. <laughs> I mean, there are some very... pounds of Sex Daddy cock meat? Actually, no. You know what she really wants? She know. makes an attempt to tackle Eugene. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. So, what is the purpose of all this? Uh, to put to Nikki put Bella over? <laughs> put Eugene over. All right. <laughs> And he seems really over now. 
Of course he yeah, is. He's Eugene's huge. so happy to hold a belt. <laughs> So, who wants to book next? Uh, I'll book an angle. Okay. What kind of angle do you want to book? Uh, shit, I don't know what kind of angles there are. Well, we have a choice of a one-on-one -on -one angle, a two-on-one, two-on-two angle, ambush angles, authority angles, debut angles, diva angles, host angles, manager angles, other <laughs> angles, romance angles, stable angles. <laughs> Uh, uh, what's the one with the arrival angle, where they come into the building? Uh, that would be other angles. So you want to have somebody arrive? Angle. Yeah, I want somebody to arrive. Who's arriving? Uh, oh crap. Um, could it be John Zandig? You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, Zandig's fine. This is gonna be the highest rated segment of all time. Two. <laughs> Hundred. The magic school bus explores the human body. What a segment this is. Alright. As you probably saw me save that image. <laughs> <laughs> I'm professional. Um. Anyway. You are. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. You know, just fine. sexy mic I got for Christmas. You know, it's all cool. By the way, thank you to our good friends at New Legacy Inc. If for whatever reason you're not following them, go do that. And then they also follow are, me, they... I guess, if you want. Mm. Except yeah. for me. Don't follow me. I'm a loser. Follow these guys, though. They're cool. Yeah, I can follow Sec. Sec's cool. I like Sec. No, don't do that. That's a terrible idea. I like Sec. The last time that there was an NL raid on my channel, it was a freaking gay porn game. I'm never... <laughs> <laughs> Wait yeah, a that, minute. That, that is true. That happened. <laughs> Have oh you ever heard god. of a game called Cho Aniki? Oh my god. It, Seki. <laughs> yeah. They did an and there, there was a raid on my channel. I'm, I'm like, just, yeah, cool. I whatever. can just imagine they were just like, raid, raid, raid. And then everybody was like, yeah, all right, awesome. Be oh. <laughs> Uh, and it was the fucking boss in the PS1 version. It's like the <laughs> naked God. mecha Arnold Schwarzenegger with the bald Japanese dude coming out of his ass. <laughs> it's the fucking worst thing I've ever seen. I like I was only expecting maybe like four or five people because it was kind of three or four o'clock in the morning. Nope. God damn it! It's amazing. I wish I was there for that. I, I wish nobody was there for that, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> As I think, God, I forgot who did the raid. I think it was Johnny. He was in there for literally all of a second, and I'm sure he saw the game and left. No words, just... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> also, hope Johnny's leg gets better soon, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, Bad leg. Rip leg. Rip leg. R.I.P. Leg. Rep <laughs> Repelex Evil leg Twin. Rip kill. Leg. <laughs> leg is kill. Alright, so we had uh, everybody but JDI and Justin Book. So, who's next? Uh, I'll go. I will go. I will book a match. Oh, boy. What kind of match? Well, I'm going to book a, a triple threat match. Oh, man. Um, elimination. A, is it just regular triple threat, not elimination? Yeah, triangle. All right, yeah, triangle. All right. Uh, who v who v who? Well, first off, we're going to be having Sammy Callahan in the match defending his Turkey Way Championship. I I'm sorry, I think you mean Solomon Crow. <laughs> oh, excuse me, you're right. Solomon Crow will be defending his Turkey Way Championship. Okay. Against the likes of Drew Gulak. Oh. I know. And Eugene. No, no, no double booking. That's a rule well, that can. we have. No, no, you can. And Roman Reigns. Oh, shit. I don't know how I feel about Roman Reigns possibly becoming a turkey. You feel very good right. about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> turkey weight title on the line. It is on the line. And Roman Reigns is the new turkey weight champion. 
Who did he points. pin in order to become the Turkey Weight Champion, though? He pinned Drew Gulak. Oh, no. He did not get the pin on the champion. That's bullshit. Well, I know. Uh, this thing's called leading up to rematches. Cleanly interference, botched interference, or cheating. Oh, there was interference. Why? Uh, of course. His or, brother's or Dean Ambrose. <laughs> well, it would be botched then, right? Because he tried to... No, yeah, I don't know how this works. Okay, who are you trying to have run in? I want Dean Ambrose. I do want Dean Ambrose to run in and help Roman Reigns. Then that would be by interference. They're just, yeah, regular interference. That's what we're doing. Roman is a turkey. He is a turkey now. That makes me want stuffing. That's the worst part about the holidays ending. What I am I talking about? Roman is a sad fe is a wink pheasant. Oh, you gotta yeah. remember but, dank memes, bro. Yeah, he's a but I mean, still, like the worst part about the holidays ending is you can't just go out and buy stuffing anymore. I fucking love stuffing. I I could eat an entire box of it by myself, really. Box stuffing is gross. Yeah, uh, well, I can't make it myself. I'm, you can. I'm like, poor. Right. No. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm bad at making food. <laughs> Alright, JBI, it's your turn to book. Alrighty, we're just gonna have a normal one on one match. Okay. Boo. Uh, between? It's going to be between the debuting Tatanka. Oh. He's on your- Ooh. oh wait, no, no, he actually is on the show. It's Masato Tatanka! Alright, Tatanka. Versus John Zandig. Oh no! He did arrive! He, <laughs> he was arriving oh, early! He did arrive! This is an interesting matchup. One I never thought I would- Well, who's winning? Get to win this. Well, of course, the winner. Tatanka. He's gonna restart his winning streak. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, snap. That's true. <laughs> and then he's gonna run into a brick wall named Jimmy Ocean. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Jimmy Ocean is really good. He's so great. Um, uh, cleanly, count out, DQ, how is he winning? Well, Tatanka always wins cleanly. What is our aftermath? Tatanka celebrates. Our purpose? To put Tatanka over. Or are you sure you don't want to pick debut Tatanka? Sure. Alright, debut Tatanka. So now, <laughs> it is my turn to book. Oh good. And I'm gonna pick a good thing. Oh? We're gonna book an interview. I like those. We're gonna book an in interview with a single worker. I I like those. We're gonna interview Zandig. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and his target is gonna be Tatanka. <laughs> is he gonna say that there was five of them? <laughs> the purpose is a verbal attack. <laughs> oh no. Tonka is a Native American. He thought they were dead. Native Americans. I thought they were dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! Five of them. There was five of them. Five to two. Isn't that what General Custer said when, during his last stand? There was five of them. Oh my! Uh, Sitting Bull. Uh. The Sioux Nation. Sioux Nation's already dead. Oh my! Uh. All right. It's the greatest interview ever. So now it's time for Sec to book something. Ah, uh, um, ah, uh, shit. I think that we need a. Uh, I think that we need another angle. Um, we need somebody leaving. Oh no! no I'm joking. Uh, Thank what are, are my angle choices? What are my angle choices? Well, you got a one v one angle, two v two angle, ambush angle, authority angle, debut angle, uh, diva. Let's angle. do an ambush angle. Okay. Those are fun. Then your options okay. become a two on one ambush, a two on one backstage ambush, a three on one ambush, a three on one backstage ambush. I think it's gonna be a two on one ambush. Two on one ambush. And then who is this going? This is gonna be a Yuji 
This is gonna be Eugene and Slater's big heel turn. Oh no. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh yeah. Eugene and Slater. Who are they going to be attacking? You might ask. Who are they? I did. Uh, Tatanka. <laughs> No, no, I, my Native American brethren have already suffered enough. <laughs> okay. By being in a feud with fucking Zanzig. And winning the match. Yeah. That's true. Uh, who, who do we have? Like, let's just start off at the letter F or below. Okay, starting at the letter F. And, you know what, I'm actually going to start you off at the letter uh, S. Okay. So we've got Scotty Vortex, Seth Rollins, Sexy Eddie with his five pounds of cock meat, Sin Bunny, oh. who is totally the bunny and not anyone else. Oh, they're going to be attacking Sin Bunny. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are they, are they turning their attention to the bus? You know, and I just know oh, it's going to be really highly rated because of Sin Bunny being in it. You want to know why they're attacking him? Why? Because obviously they want control of the magic school bus. Oh no! Oh, no. So that way they can explore uh, that whore Nikki Bella's body. The thing is, oh, Eugene's no. already on it. Mm. Eugene is part of the rosebuds. This is his big split. He's now Eugene joining is the, splitting uh, away from the rosebuds. No. He's taking over. He's the now bus. joining the. He's now joining the uh, shock rock band Three Retards and the Bunny. What? <laughs> Where'd they get the I don't know. From? Where'd they get a second bunny? <laughs> it's dead. That's oh, no. the gimmick. They oh, no. Dead every concert with them. Because they're dead Gangrel with them? Well, who's the third man? Yes. Gangrel, uh, apparently. We don't know yet. Could it we be that poor Nikki Bella? Uh, JJ, to answer your question, if anybody has signed Joey Ryan, uh, nobody has. No. And we have so many people on these rosters that it'd kind of be silly to sign another. <laughs> Well, we'll probably end up doing it at some point anyway, so we'll see. As I said, we don't know who the third man is, but it could be that whore Nikki Bella. She, she could be a have man. An interest. She, she did seem to have an interest in Eugene. That is true. She did have interest in Eugene. That's, that's, she, that's just because she is kind of a skanky. Well, I mean, you know, she, she is a whore. She is a whore. I mean, her she name. Has an she did that. cheat on her sister, Triple Bella. <laughs> she sure did. <laughs> after they got married. <laughs> the greatest wow. wedding of all time. Pretty sure we got interrupted by Brie Bella, though. I think we got interrupted by everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty sure, actually, thing. if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Triple Bella was supposed to be marrying Brie, but mistook mistook uh, Nikki for Brie. And then Brie interrupted the wedding, and then they became sisters. Yep. So, ah. right. It's quite the angle that we okay, got. Okay, but after John Laurinaitis and his wife decided to adopt Triple H. <laughs> Yes. By the way, I just want to say, if we do sign Joey Ryan, can we dress him up as uh, one of the characters from Choniki? The dude with the uh, stop sign on his chest and the cone on his head? You mean he isn't already? That is true. So now it is time for who's to book something. Uh, shit. I want to do a one-on-one -on -one match. Oh boy. Just a regular one on one match? No, what are the different types of matches are there? Well, we got a guest referee match, a hardcore match, a submission match, a ladder match, a table match, a cage match, a Texas death match with the book. Last man standing, a false count anywhere match, an Iron Man match, a Bra and Panties match, an I Quit match, an Inferno match, a Hell in a Cell match, a First Blood match. Uh, let's go hardcore. Keep it hardcore. 2000 hardcore. whatever. Come yes. on, bounce. Come on, bounce. Come on, bounce. So who is bouncing? Uh, I'm gonna start from the bottom, and we're gonna start work. from the bottom. Yes, work your way up. Wolfie D, Vampiro, Tyler Breeze, Triple Vampiro. Bella, Vampiro, Vampiro, uh, Triple Bella, the Great Kali, that whore Nikki Bella, Tatanka, Solomon Crow, Sin Cara Two, Sin Bunny, Sexy Eddie, uh, Seth Rollins, Scotty Vortex, Roman Reigns, Prince Puma. Nick Mondo, Nick Gage, Necro Butcher, Nate Webb. Necro Nick Butcher. Necro Butcher. Well, I guess Ahmed Johnson is not fighting for his freedom here tonight. <laughs> no, yes, he's he not. Oh, well. Why would he not be? I guess there's some matches left to book. Yeah. No, we're not. Because he doesn't he have to face Vampiro? No, he he has to face Wolfie D, and he doesn't oh, face anyone. Right. Ahmed right. Johnson isn't facing anybody. You're right. My he's mind. above the ring. 
Sorry, <laughs> Ahmed Johnson's chosen champion. <laughs> yeah, Ahmed Johnson gets to choose who faces Wolfie D in a ladder match. All right, uh, who's winning this Vampiro Necker Butcher Hardcore match? Uh, shit. Um, fuck it, Vampiro. Vampiro with his second straight victory. Undefeated. Undefeated so far. Yep. In EWR. Oh. Uh, cleanly interference, botch interference, or cheating? Cheating. Oh, man. Not that, you could, in not, not that you could in a hardcore match. <laughs> he found a way. Somehow. Did he pull out a gun or something? That's the only way I can think of. He pulled out a gun and pistol with Necro Butcher. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be fine, as long as he doesn't shoot him. True. Uh, what is your aftermath? Uh... Celebration, nothing. handshake, nothing? Nothing. Alright. What was the point? Nothing. Alright. <laughs> sounds no like, sounds like a Vampiro Necro Butcher match to me. It sure does. Pretty much. Sounds like a Necro Butcher match to me. And I love Necro Butcher. Alright, so now it is time for just Justin to book. Well, I'm going to book that ladder match. Oh, shit. Got to have that match now. Alright, match. 1v1. A ladder match. So it'll be Wolfie D. It will be Wolfie D. And then who is Ahmed Johnson's chosen champion? Well, of course, Ahmed Johnson chose Masquerita Sagrada. He loves midgets, too. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> is the little guy going to reach him, though? That's the best question. Ahmed I've ever. Johnson on a pole match. No, no, Ahmed hold. Johnson in the sky match. <laughs> He's hanging by the leg above the ring. He's hanging by his foot. <laughs> oh, that's little... even... And he has been all night. <laughs> he is little big piggy, though. A black man hanging? That's kind of racist. Hey, hey, it's from the foot. From the by foot. his big piggy. Okay, okay, that... We pierced his toe. <laughs> oh, no! Ow! Okay. Just to make sure he didn't fall. We had to. Uh, and then who is our winner? Well, the little guy couldn't reach him. Wolfie oh no! Didn't. He was too little. Oh no! I mean, Johnson didn't think his plan through. So Wolfie D wins. Wolfie D does win. Cleanly? Well, there's run-in, of course. Oh no! By the newest member of the new nation of domination, Jimmy Ocean. Oh no! The blackest oh, man in professional wrestling, Jimmy Ocean. It's true. <laughs> I was reminded of this. <laughs> oh pit. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Speaking of Pit, perhaps you would like to listen to the Invasion Podcast, available at Vimeo.com slash Invasion Podcast. Invasions. Listen to Gamebox's latest interview with Dino Winwood. Anyway, who cares? <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> what a shill. Yeah, what a shill, and then fucking bury. Burial. Anyway. All right, so what's the aftermath? Um, well, the aftermath is going to be. Let's see, can we have uh, Wolfie D and uh, Jimmy Ocean like shake hands or something? For some reason, I thought that was an. Oh, there we go. Yep. All right, proven that they are now the new nation. Shield it like the rock and shat on it like eat Randy Marie. Oh yeah. Ah yes. Uh purpose? Uh Debut Jimmy Ocean. Debut Masquerita Sagrada. Uh I don't want it to be a debut someone, so all right. what are the other Put Wolfie D I over, choose? put Masquerita Sagrada over, put Jimmy Ocean over, put on a good match, build up to a future match, and no. Yeah, build up to a future match. Alright, gee, I wonder what the match will be. Jimmy Ocean and fucking Wolfie D taking on Ahmed Johnson and Masquerita Sagrada, probably. Oh, Ahmed Johnson hates Masquerita Sagrada now. He couldn't oh. reach him and he's so upset. He's gonna find a new buddy. A new buddy, Zach Gowan. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that's him. a different show. Alright. Alright, JBI's turn to book. Another interview segment. Okay. Interview. 
Single this worker. Time with the Tonka shooting on John Zandig. Oh no. Jesus! The Tonka with those toxic mic skills. Exactly. Toxic <laughs> as in everybody died. <laughs> I like to think it during his interview, he dropped the mic and just kept talking anyways. <laughs> Everybody, I'm gonna tell you a story. It's called The Ugly Part. <laughs> he was so ugly that everyone, everyone died. died. The yeah. end. Alright, so technically I would book the main event, but I booked the main event last time, so... Since this is Justin's show, I'm gonna have Justin book the main event. Oh. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't prepared. To book the main event. Well, I wasn't prepared. I didn't know I was going to be booking again. Well, do you want me to book it for you then? Yeah. All right, fine. I don't want to be unfair. We're gonna have a match. Ow. Good. We're gonna have fucking Royal Rumble. Lovely. I like it. A fucking full blown Royal Rumble. Here we go. All right. So who's gonna be in it? Well, it's gonna be fucking Aiden English, Angelico, Big Daddy Rikishi, Christian, C.J. Parker. Darren Young, Phoenix, Go Diego Go, Greg Excellent, Horny dressed up as Jojo Offerman, Jojo Offerman, what? Tyler Breeze, Triple Bella, The Great Kali, Seth Rollins, That's Seth Rollins, Gotti Vortex. Prince Puma, Sexy Eddie, the Bad Man Pondo, John Morrison, Justin Gabriel, the uh, fucking Jimmy John Uso, uh, Nick Gage. Um, everything about this is great. Uh. Dean Ambrose. Why not? Um. 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 The reanimated cigar, too. Um. Roman Reigns? Nah, Roman Reigns is already booked. Who has not been booked of the people that are on uh, Nate Webb? Fuck it, Rebella. Was Nikki Bella booked in an actual match? Oh, fuck it, Nikki Bella. Sick Nick Sick Mondo. Jimmy Ocean. And I actually don't think Sim Bunny was actually booked in a match. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't matter. I'm already full. And the illustrious WWE Rated R Spinny D WWE Rated R Championship will be on the line. CJ Parker is oh, putting the gold shit. on the line. Oh fuck! And EWR doesn't know how to react. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? Oh shit! Oh, there we go. Everything's fine. Nothing is fucked. I was gonna laugh really hard if you picked back and had to put all of them back in. <laughs> Um, that spinny WWE Rated R Championship will be on the line. Our runner up will be Go Diego Go. Oh. And our winner will be none other than CJ Parker. Oh, he somehow did it. He did it. <laughs> How did he do it? He outlasted 29 other men. What a man. Also, there wasn't all men. 29 other people. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. A lot of people didn't want that. Free Bella didn't want Actually, that. Actually, it's not all people either, because there's a bunny in the match, too. Exactly, that's true. 29 other organisms. All right. Start 29 another show. orgasm. I Jimmy didn't even John know her. <laughs> yeah, Alright, so we started off with Adam Rose versus Maven Huffman. 
69% overall rating with a 61% crowd reaction, but a 77% match quality. I think you mean 100. No, I'm reading it right. Adam Rose wins after interference from Sin Cara. Two. Two. Having been reanimated and brought back from the dead. It's true. Uh, then we have Heath Slater and Eugene defeating Booker T and Jason Jordan for the Kids Replica WWE Tag Team Champions. Chips, 68% overall rating with a 61% match qual- uh, crowd reaction and a 75% match quality. I'm noticing a trend here. Mm. We see John Zandig arrive backstage, 61%. All 29 people complaining about the outcome. Jimmy Ocean didn't complain. He did not. Uh, Solomon Crow versus Drew Gulak versus Roman Reigns. 70% overall rating with a 65% crowd reaction and a 75% cra- uh, match quality. The WWE Turkey Weight Championship has gained in image. <laughs> As Roman Reigns is your new Turkey Weight Champ. After interference from Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose had to hit dirty deeds on Drew Gulak in order to, for Roman Reigns to win. <laughs> yes. Uh, Tatanka versus John Zandig. We got a 55% overall rating with a 48% crowd reaction and a 63% match quality. Sadly, half of a star match as Tatanka defeats John Zandig. Then John Zandig goes fucking insane and gets a fucking interview, getting a 66% overall rating. But hey, John Zandig did gain two points of overness. He did. Now shit. Sin Bunny is in the ring. Out of nowhere comes Eugene as he slides in. They begin brawling from the crowd... Uh, comes Heath Slater, who joins in on the attack on the Undertaker. I mean, uh, the bunny. Uh, the two on one attack leaves Sin Bunny down on the mat. Sin Bunny lost two points of overness from this segment, but hey, Eugene and Heath Slater each gained one, so it works out. 73% overall. Not bad. Ooh, Vampiro versus Necro Butcher. 71% overall rating oh with a 63% boy. crowd reaction and a 79% match quality. Oh, fuck. Two and one-fourth of a star. That's about a hundred times better than I thought it was going to do. I agree. Wolfie D versus Masquerita Sagrada. This is going to be a 100 overall. Uh, Wolfie D is losing overness because of his weak gimmick. 54 overall, 44% crowd reaction with a 65% match quality. And of course, Wolfie D wins because Masquerita Sagrada is a fucking midget. (laughs) He's too little to grab him. Tatanka is backstage. He was Some laying marks. a verbal smackdown on John Zandig. This is Saturday Morning Slam, excuse you. Uh, 47%. I think I might have found the worst segment of the night. Did you? Oh, wait, I forgot. One second. <laughs> As the game loads all this shit. Oh, well, God. Do we want to keep the, Im- the gimmick that number 14 is fired? Are we doing yes. that? Do, I'm asking you, because it's your show. You know what? Yes, we're doing it. All right. I can't go back on it now, even if it's my favorite wrestler ever. Oh, Dean God, Ambrose was sluggish Nicola. and didn't put much effort into this. Oh, no. He's going to quit on me next. Sexy Eddie is losing over this because of his weak gimmick. Having five pounds of cock meat is not just a gimmick. It's a lifestyle. All right. So 62% overall rating with a 57% match quality and a crowd reaction. I'm sorry, match quality is 67% and a crowd reaction of 57 My apologies. Well, that's not that bad. So who is entrant number 14? Entrant number 14 is Madman Pondo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no! Exactly the person I wanted fired. Not Pondo. But you can't stop Pondo. He has that on his stop sign all the time. Well, he's fired. <laughs> <laughs> Stopped, I guess. 58% overall rating. The worst segment was Tatanka being interviewed, but our best segment was an ambush angle with uh, the under. Uh, I'm, sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Eugene and Slater beating up Sin Bunny and not the Undertaker because the Underbaker, Underbaker does not work here. <laughs> he does not in this universe. There's a couple things we have to do with teams. That is true. So if you'll give me one second. <laughs> I will. Well, I read our email real quick. Ah, it's February 1st! Whoa! So, Maven is losing heat because we are pushing him too much. Drew Gulak is losing heat because we're pushing him too much. John Zandig is losing heat because we're pushing him too much. Vampiro is complaining about Necro Butcher working too stiffly. Well, yeah. 
<laughs> he does that. A 6.78, the highest rated show of the week besides Raw, goes to Justin. You're damn right it does. Uh, Zero One has announced the year's ro- roster of touring wrestlers. Staff member Pat Patterson has retired. So oh, is no. Scott Casey. Who? Oh no! Hardcore Holly is going to retire from WWE in one month! Oh no, we gotta give him a proper send out! <laughs> New Jack is gonna retire in a month. Oh, Jim Duggan to... is gonna retire in a month. That's Ernest right. the Cat Miller is gonna retire. That's Bruce right. Hart is gonna retire. Perry Aguayo Sr. is gonna retire. Nigma is going to retire. My favorite. Pentagon Black is going to retire. Haruka Eigen is going to retire. Jumbo Guerrero Sr. Luke! Jimmy Hart! <laughs> Nikki Fuller! Lucifer! <laughs> Satan is retiring in one month, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no! Oh no! Zorka! <laughs> Akira Made! Oh, horrendous tragedy. Or Meda. Buddy Lane! Curtis Thompson! Jim Powers! Candy Divine! Masquerita Sagrada has decided to become a non wrestler. <laughs> no, he's not! <laughs> Lesser will retire in one month. R Truth has three months left on his contract. Ryback has three months left on his contract. Eva Marie has three months left on her contract. We earn money, and the following birthdays have occurred. R Truth, I'm sorry, Hardcore Holly is now 52 years old. R Truth is 43. Becky Lynch is 28. Sheamus is 37. Tamina is 37. Masquerita Sagrada is 50. Tyler Breeze is 27, and Sasha Banks is 23. So, y'all can do me a favor just real quick. Eva Marie. Ryback and R Truth. Remember those three names for me. I'll try. Okay. Shit. That's not I'll remember even Marie and R Truth. Okay. <sighs> Eva Marie. I apologize if I went uh, dead quiet. I'm working on a intro song for uh, whenever I do Fire Pro streams. Number two. So we got it's Eva Marie eight. resigned. We got Ryback to resign. Ah, oh, we got Ryback. Hey, it's one half of Brian Ty. That is true. And uh, our truth is the only other guy that we need to resign. I think I'm gonna head out. Okay, you take okay. it easy, buddy. Bye bye. Oh Fun. man. So, uh, Deadpool, can I tell you what? Uh, oh, bye bye. Sorry. Uh. Tell me what. Can I tell you the shitty thing that I'm working on? Okay, so I found this really, 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 really god awful MIDI of Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden. Oh no. And I'm uh, putting really, 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 really high quality MIDI instruments to it, like from a Roland Sound Canvas. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm making a, this really, 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 really terrible uh, MIDI a um, my, my theme song from a Fire Pro tournaments and shit. Oh, okay. Black hole sun, won't you come to suck away the stream? All right, give me one second. I need to turn on my hack machine. Okay. <clears throat> one. Is it on? Ah, there we go. Hack machine on. Uh, what was his position before? Uh, I don't remember. We're making him a mid Carter. That's fine. That's what happens when I don't remember. I just default to mid card. Works for me, because I don't remember either, so. And then Hardcore Holly said that he was going to retire, so, because we have a retirement, I will be allowed to make a, a signing of a new wrestler once he is retired, so next month I can sign a new wrestler. And then Justin, Madman Pondo, was number 14, so. He was, so he is gone, he has been fired. He is officially fired. He is now no longer here. Necro Butcher isn't too happy to find out that we're firing Madman Pondo, but I don't give a fuck. Freight Train isn't happy that we're firing Madman Pondo. Yeah, they're friends. Well, too bad. They're fired. He's fucking fired. That's what happens when you come oh, out number they're 14. They're fired! No, he's fired. I was gonna say, don't fire all of them. I am very unhappy about the way you treated Madman Pondo, says Freight Train. Yeah, oh, see? Well. And then Necro Butcher says, I am not happy about your decision to fire Madman Pondo. He's only not happy. He's not dissatisfied. So, Justin, you are allowed one new signing. Oh, I am. Yes. Is that so? That is true. Actually, I don't think we can sign uh, Joey Ryan because he technically works for TNA. Well, 
Well, that's fine. I don't want Joey Ryan. Well, I was just answering your question for somebody. Oh, well, I was before. I uh, actually, no, no, we could sign Joey Ryan if we wanted to, but we don't. I don't. At the want moment, Joey Ryan. Anyway. All right. So, who do you want? There is someone that I would like, though. Who is that? I would like a son of havoc. Oh, so you would like Matt Cross? Yes. And I will rename him some. Thank you. Just as I need to rename uh, Johnny, John Morrison, Johnny Mundo. You do still need to do that. Oh, John Zandig is not happy about your decision to, su to hire Matt Cross. <laughs> well, that's too bad, Zandig. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Fuck Zandig. <laughs> what is Son of Havoc? A face uh, heel or tweener? Face. Okay. Uh, position? Oh, let's put him in the upper mid card. Okay. Uh, written contract for two years. I'm giving nine thousand dollars. I'm sorry, ten thousand dollars. Coco Banda is very happy that we hired Matt Cross, as is Antonio Cesaro. But then Zandig is fucking pissed. Yeah, I noticed. Hmm, two that of those guys' opinions I value a little bit more. Zandigs. Oh wait, is Colt injured? Is that? I, can, uh... I think he is. He is. He had a torn calf. Right. I, so. right. and then... I like that picture of Zandig. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Would you believe that that was the default picture in the picture pack that I fucking found? I would not, but I'm glad. Uh, so he is on Justin's show. And then I get to have a signing of somebody in the future. Once, uh, Parker Holly retires. Alright, so let me close out the hack machine. And close out this one. Alright. So since JVI went to bed, I'm kind of hesitant about continuing EWR, if I'm honest. That's okay, we could stop or change something else or something, I don't know. Yeah, let's switch to something else. Okay. Uh, okay, anybody? so I actually made this- I, I, I have bad news, I made this shitty Soundgarden MIDI actually sound good, and I'm upset about that. So I'm going to use other sound fonts. Uh, let's use, like, really, really terrible Super Nintendo sound fonts, that sounds good. That's okay. No, use really bad Genesis sound fonts. Like, Western Genesis? Oh, no, I have... Oh, God, no, I have really bad... Oh, wait, I do have a bunch of Western Genesis games. I have shit on the Gems Driver. I can do it. All right, give me oh, one. this is gonna be bad. <gasps> oh. All right, give me one second. <laughs> no. I'm going to switch over to Fire Pro, and we're just gonna do some Fire Pro tournaments, if that's okay. All right. That, that sounds, uh... That sounds okay. erotic to me. Because that does not Yay, require canon. Oh. Because that does not require a cannon, and I can that basically use whoever the fuck I want. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't require anything. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't even require thought. <laughs> it really doesn't at all. Yep, because I What's can just thinking? watch it go. <laughs> Alright, so all right. oh, this is going to take a little extra work, but that's okay. Alright, uh, what really terrible game would have, like, a really terrible sounding, like, acoustic guitar style instrument? Think, think, think. I don't like thinking. Bubsy. That's... Yeah, Bubsy always has terrible instruments. I like this. Alright. Off to work I go. I'm gonna go take a piss. I'm gonna go take a piss for the rest of the stream. So weird to hold a PS3 controller. This sounds horrible. So you made a great choice, is what you're saying. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm using uh, Bubsy instruments first of all. That's the very first thing that comes out. No, I heard you. Except, except the Bubsy instruments cannot seem to uh, play along with the. Uh, they they don't want to play along with the uh, tuning that the acoustic guitar is in. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Black hole dun, dun, butts, dun, 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 won't you come? Black hole, son, won't you come? Won't you come? Won't you come?